This is it. This is it. Finish the fight. Although it's, you know, just the first game. So finish the first fight before the fight continues. And then we finish that. Welcome to the... What should be the final stream of Halo Combat Evolved just in time for Halo Infinite coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome back to the Monoko Dobo stream. And, uh, yeah, we're in the last leg of it. And, uh, these last few levels, not quite as memorable as the first levels of Halo, but still. Quality all the way through. And, uh, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see some fancy stuff. Uh, before we get started with the game proper, I wanted to show you all something that we talked about last time. I didn't have time to look it up, but now... It, it might get us all hyped up. <laughs> make, make you want to buy Halo. Because I found the video that plays at the end of the Halo demo that they put out. On PC, but also Xbox. Check, check it out. So, you beat the Halo demo. Not bad, soldier. Not bad at all. But are you ready to take the next step? Oh. In the full version of Halo, you'll find additional vehicles like tanks, I'm ready, Sarge. plasma turrets, and air. Listen to this like informational pass music. Alien weapons. A single player <laughs> campaign spanning ten massive indoor and outdoor environments, and support for intense multiplayer battles with up to sixteen of your friends. Damn, Sergeant Johnson could sell me anything. All that wrapped up in an epic sci-fi story that's so freaky. Whoa. It makes me shake just thinking about it. Freaky is right. Halo, combat evolved. Buy one. Heck, buy two. That's I did. An order, soldier. I will, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Hoorah. <laughs> I will buy a million copies of Halo. How many copies of Halo do I actually have? I got the original on Xbox. I got the Anniversary Edition. I had the Master Chief Collection <laughs> on PC and Xbox One. I guess I have four copies of Halo 1. Yeah, you know, I said I played it on PC, but I don't exactly own it on PC. Don't tell anybody, it's a secret. Yeah, welcome on in, everybody. Uh, also, train on, welcome on in. Apparently, you're following. Well, thank you for following. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about game preservation. If anything, at least Halo is pretty well preserved. It's Microsoft's bread and butter. And uh, like I was saying with Halo Infinite's reviews, I'm really happy. I'm really happy the reviews are good. Yeah, and Virtual Console's not a thing. Nope, it's the online service stuff. Thanks for the slime. All right, okay. All right, all right, okay. All right, okay. Before it, before I ramble on too long, let's get into it. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend to know too much about Halo lore, but I've been watching more and more videos. I figured out which a YouTuber I was talking about that has a whole bunch of Halo lore videos. If you want, if you want to learn the lore, go watch his stuff. His name is Hidden Xperia on YouTube. And he's got some good stuff. Like, what if a Spartan was infected with the flood? Could could the grunts be infected by the flood? The Covenant battle net. See if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. I like the song. <laughs> So basically, we were about to activate the Halo ring because the guilty Spark 343 Industries told Master Chief, Oh yeah, this is how you get rid of the Flood. Chief's just like, oh, that sounds good. Sign me up. Sign me up for the free demo. Here's my credit card info and the numbers on the back. And that Cortana is just like, yo, that's dumb. <laughs> You're going to kill all sentient life in the universe. I forgot the Sentinels weren't on our side anymore. I will say, I noticed something about the dialogue that Cortana had at the end of the last stream. And I remember it got pointed out in a video I watched. Uh oh, that's not good. Please don't die, please don't die. I was almost out of ammo completely. I like having the shotgun for the flood, but long range is a no go. Let me just swap that out real quick. Hey. Who dares? Ah! Ow! If I die to this one jackal, I swear. That's right. Run away. <laughs> Fear my crystal needles. Uh, what was he talking about? Oh yeah, Cortana's dialogue at the end of the last stream. 
heavily implies that she was written to be British sounding. Because she said stuff like toady about and sawed off. I just noticed, I just realized that just now. Like, yeah, okay. A lot of stuff starts making a little more sense, but I like the voice that she has. It's iconic at this point. Which makes all the music. Which makes Halo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wasn't ready for this fight. Get behind the shield. Hey -ya! I can't die while I'm while this epic music is playing. I feel like I'm doing it a disservice if I do. Ready? Hey -ya! I missed! So how's everybody doing? <laughs> Oof. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. So I'm basically, the location of the nearest pulse generator. All right, Cortana, we got the idea. We so basically, semi-open world level, baby. This is why this is why Halo Infinite is getting such good reviews. It's taking a lot of the level design from Halo 1 and they're just mapping it to an open world. It's got the DNA, it's got the spirit, because Halo 1 was pretty open. We just gotta take, we just gotta head to each waypoint. However we get there, the game doesn't care. It's gonna be good, it's gotta be real good. Uh, Tradon just finished Halo 1 for the first time a few weeks ago. Wow, nice! The, uh, your memory is just, is definitely going to be a lot more fresh than mine. I haven't played these levels since I was but a teenager. For the first few levels of this stream, I was doing pretty good because... Oh, okay. Because I had replayed this game on Xbox not too long ago. But I only got up they consist of three to uh, Assault on the Control Room. Halo so uh, this is all pretty space. fresh to me again. Levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the full range. Force Company asks, uh, so, since I can just toggle between the old and new graphics, which one do I prefer? Good thing you brought that up. I was actually going to mention that. I forgot to talk about it during last stream. So, specifically for the last level, the library, where I'm running from all the Zambambos, the zombies, I actually prefer the old graphics because the new ones don't give me the same feeling of dread. Like I'm inside a, a crumbling ancient facility. Okay, I need to find health or something. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators I should have that amplify turned Halo's on the old graphics for that level to compare, but I forgot space. to. I was I was the kind of busy running from all the popcorn around me. Ow. Don't worry, I'll get the into the groove. In these canyons are Halo's it's just so cheeky the mechanisms. way they blast they you when you're already dead. Pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow yeah. it to fire deep into space. Let's try a less Rambo strategy. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. Because when you turn on the old graphics in the library, pulse generators that everything seems Halo's a lot more bleak and, and desolate. It, fire deep into space. The power it really is like you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Like, the range. school on a on a so, weekend. We it's all empty. The There's lights are on, the but nobody's there. Nobody's there, but... That should buy us some time. Them. Yes, Cortana, we know. Thank you. I need to stop dying so we don't hear the this so many times. Are Halo's primary ah, fire Master Chicken Man, what's up? You always like the Needler? Phase pulse I always, I do like how the Needler Halo looks. Yeah, last time I talked about how when you melee, Chief specifically, like, tries to stab him. 
can't even begin you just, to calculate the pulse's range. The player doesn't do that in any other Halo game so, that I know of. damage or destroy these that I remember. The monitor will it's just this one. Before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. That being said, using it, I was never really good at it. With a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize Because it's hard to actually kill with it. For the most part, you're... Shooting it at the enemy until they die, yes. Ah! The machinery in these canyons you missed the genre shift. Yeah, you did. Mechanisms. It's, this is literally right after that. We had to that fight through hordes and hordes of zombies. And allow it I'm trying to, to deep fight my instincts to not I talk over Cortana. Like we already know this. Can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, Gotta focus on the elite. Or there you go. The monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. School on a Wednesday? Are you and not supposed to go to school on a Wednesday? A yeah, we yeah, I'm feeling good on a Wednesday. The sparkling thoughts. Give me the hope to go on. I know a little Randy Marsh. All I need now is a little bit of shelter. Fight through this. Fight through hordes of flood infected cows. I'm not sure about that yellow Pikachu. I feel like they'd overpower me. That is a lot of raw beef. Also, how you doing? Yeah. So I mentioned this before stream, but from here on out, we're going to see a lot of the levels in this game being retreads of past levels, just backwards. But it doesn't feel lazy. It feels more like clever backtracking, like like something like Metroid Prime. It's not that they're pretending this is a new level. No, it's just that you happen to be doing different things in the same area. I think they do that really well. It helps that this game came out around the same time as Metroid Prime, huh? Doing well, how am I? I'm excited to play Halo Infinite. That's what I am, Master Chicken Man. I'm, I've got Halo on the brain. That's the thing. Thank you. Basically, uh, all I can think about, along with uh, Let's Play J from, from the Zalfira community, or vice versa. Yeah, it must be because we're sharing a brain cell, but we knew that already. I've been still obsessed with trying to find a Halo Series X. I actually, I'm actually seriously starting to talk to my friends in the Navy like, okay, uh, if, if the if the Halo Series X comes up on the Navy Exchange website, can the, can you buy it for me and I'll pay you? Because the Navy gets their own like military base store. I'm, I'm getting desperate at this point. I'm trying to fight the urge to pay for, pay the scalpers. Because I don't want to contribute to that kind of stuff. I don't want to be part of the problem. No way. Zombie mad cow disease. Remember when everyone was scared of that? Hello, it's me. What's up, Nikas Niktasa? <laughs> Nidakasa, rather. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can punch you in the face. Ow. Yeah. Just hope everybody is ready for some chill shooty bang bangs. It's gonna be less action packed for this level at least, I think. I'm, I'm in that situation that a lot of FPS players find themselves where the game saves when you have low health. It's not as bad in Halo 1 because of the shield. But I just gotta start being careful now. Dun, da, 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 da. Played Halo 2 with your brother campaign, not knowing what you were doing. The extent of Halo. I mean, that's how it goes, right? Stop it. Ah, what? Who shot me? You gotta love how every time you die, the game focuses specifically on Master Chief's butt. It's almost like they're mourning specifically what he will be remembered for. When they write, when they write his eulogy. <laughs> Wonderful. 
Don't give him the scalpers. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're peeved that them for preventing you from getting Metroid Dread Special Edition. Just in general, scalping's gotten really bad in the last few in the last few months. I think I think was it Congress? Senate? They just tried to pass a law. I think it's still working through. That bans bots from scalping products. You know it's bad when the government actually tries to do something about it. Or you know, you know it's money impacting. That's all it really says. I mean, points for the effort, but I don't know how they're going to enforce that. That's always the, the issue when it comes to government trying to enforce law about technology. Because, you know, I don't exactly trust the people in government to know how technology works. It's more like they're probably going to impose penalties on retailers that don't follow it one of those banshees. banshees i want a banshee the pulse generator in time i get the i get the pilot of banshee oh, i thought you couldn't do that until halo 2 oh crap all right yes 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 please thank twig what's up welcome welcome cheek <laughs> yeah we got some halo going on i'm trying not to die Ooh. Oh, oh, health pack, over there! The most interesting part of this fighting my way back through is that they started me with weapons that weren't the best. Especially for long-range combat. They gave me a plasma pistol and a shotgun. Now I have a rocket launcher. A rocket launcher! Let's do some damage! I once again forgot. No, 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 no. To enable the skull that makes party grunts happen. All right, okay. What do you get? It's also what you get. No, no, no. Ah! I made him angry. I killed his friend. Did you see that, Master Chief? Kind of looked like he was cozy in bed, ready to take a nap. That's me. Need it to reach the pulse generator in time. When it involved having resellers be more regulated against that sort of thing, yeah, it's more about like there's less of a way that you could actually stop it unless you are the retailers themselves. So that's the only way I see that law actually working. Like, penalize the retailers for not doing that. I guess that'll work. Well, I hope something happens, because I want a Halo Series X. I don't think... It's it's hard. I'm not... I don't pretend to be a politician. I don't... I try not to talk about politics on this stream, because I don't... I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm not going to pretend to know anything. But it does relate to my interests for once. It's easy to say that the root of the problem is something else, but at a certain point, you gotta do something. I'm pretty sure the Halo Series X is still gonna get more production, because, like, retailers... Like, the way their sites handle the fact that everything's sold out... There's signs that there's more stock coming. The retailers just don't know when. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I could just go for the Banshee. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna execute it. I'm gonna go get the rocket launcher and then rush the Banshee. We should commandeer one of those Banshees. I can tell that the game is specifically not letting the enemies get into the Banshee to pilot it because they need me to do it. And then I can just take him out from above. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I hope this works. Nidakasa says, favorite moves of Halo, you're playing Halo 1 at the computer and a giant LAN party. That was what Halo, the Halo experience was all about. We just watched the, uh, that demo movie 
Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Both of you. <laughs> Dang it. I fell for the trap. I got distracted. Wait. We should come and Wait. one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. Uh, we just watched the the video that promotes buying Halo after playing the demo. Where Sergeant Johnson is just like, Buy one! Heck, buy two! And it talks about how, like, there's up to 16 player multiplayer. That first Halo wasn't online. They're specifically talking about the fact that you could hook up uh, Xboxes together with a LAN cable. Oh god, no! Whoo! Whoa. It let it shine! That is clever! Oh no. I'm hanging on by a thread here. Okay, all right. That's enough. That's enough. I can do it. I'm almost there. Get in, get in, get in. Ha! Yeah, baby. Woo, there's a fuel rod cannon on this baby. Who's laughing now? Watch out. Pew, pew, a pew, 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 pew. His coconut gun can fire in spurts if he shoots you you're gonna die it's happening yeah look at this i get to have a bird's eye view of the area what kind of everything look like in the original halo one look i can kind of hover just by pressing back Like, everything was pretty plain. Everything kind of looked like concrete. But it works! Like, you see a general kind of alien-looking shape, all from the Forerunners. And that angular technology keeps into, like, Halo Infinite's world design. Question, what's the age how long a product was scalping apply to? I think it's, like... Because, yeah, that's true. Like, after a certain point, is it scalping or is it... Is it just... Um... Selling your old stuff. I think at the point where it's no longer available brand new. It's no longer scalping. It's it's not good. Like, it's still kind of hacked that if, even if something is old, you can't get it for a good price. Because people just want to make money, not that they value anything that high. But at the point where it's literally not going to ever be available anywhere else, it's not really scalping. It's just the market price. You don't have to agree with the market price, but at that point, it's no longer like there's nothing else to compare it against. That at that point, it's naturally going to change depending on supply and demand. That's the thing, right? Supply and demand. If there's going to be more supply, then scalpers are banking on the fact that there's not going to be enough supply that right now that's available right now. I feel like the flood are near. Da, 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 da. The R still still makes it work. Yeah, the atmosphere. Like the fact that there isn't much detail, and there actually is a lot of detail. Look, look at these lines. Look at this greebling. Word of the day for y'all. Uh, in sci-fi art design terms, greebling is when you kind of just add a random texture to a surface. Like this, like there's no functional reason that the floor needs to be segmented like this. It's a floor. It should just be like flat or tiles or something. But when you add just detail like that, I think they coined that term from Star Wars. It's called Greebling. The center core is the signal amplifier. And that's what we need to shut down. How do I do that? We Jump need into to it. Interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that oh. it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator. But you'll need to walk into the beam to trigger it. I was kidding, Cortana. The EMP blast should neutralize uh, the generator. Uh, uh, it will also uh, drain your shields uh, and leave you vulnerable until oh, they recharge. Oh, oh, okay. How do I do it? Hot. Whoa. Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins. What do you do? Whoa. The generator central core is offline. Well done. Thank you. I am dying. Of course, something was going to pop out, right? After I jump in. 
All right, all right. Now I know what I'm dealing with. I want, a, I want something that deals better with sentinels. That's what those are called. Dun, da, da, dun. So yeah, I was talking about the last level, the library. The, the atmosphere, like, think of it looking like basically this. Because that was also a Forerunner installation. Like, everything is all plain when it comes to the walls. It looks so empty and sad and desolate. But not like in a, oh, it should look better way, but more like there used to be a purpose, like some sort of temple, and now it's gone. Kind of way. I'm gonna find cover. Objective accomplished. Ooh. The pulse generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. You know what? You know what? I don't need to deal with the sentinels. Oh god. No, he found me. They found me. Never mind. Ooh. I'm running. I'm running. We're doing this the coward's way. I mean, the efficient way. Give me my banshee. Well, thank you. The second I like the convenient second banshee that's up here, just in case you drop that one. Like you just do this. Oh god! Wait, whoa. Like you just do this. Okay, well. There's a way to make that drop. Da 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 do 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 I love these moments in video games where you finally allowed to have something that either enemies or other characters have had all game. It's like, I want to be in the flying death machine with the fuel rod gun. They're so annoying. I want to kill everyone in the Banshee. And then you get it. Aha. Uh -huh. Ow. Oh, that was a bad idea. I'm on one pip of health now. It's fine. Rip that guy. Fun fact, the reason that the Ungoys wear little gas masks is because... Whoa, that was a fuel rod ah! gun. They have fuel rod guns now? Uh-oh. Well, fun fact, they wear little gas masks because they breathe methane. So their planet must have a lot of cows. Maybe it's just Head Earth from the door. future. That's the way to the next canyon. I'm already going, Cortana. Dun, da da dun, da 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 da. You know I don't remember those beams of energy being there when I was in this area last time. I guess the story excuse was that now Halo is charging up, spirit bomb style. Dun. Da 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 company was asking about scalping because... Uh, the talk of Pokemon? Or... Making you think Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl have a third version, huh? Well, historically, the... Uh, somebody was talking about, like, waiting for a diamond during my Brilliant... or Shining Pearl stream the other day. But, like, nobody... they haven't confirmed it. And historically... The Pokemon remakes haven't ever had the third version remade. So I don't know if Diamond's ever gonna happen. But I hope it does. Actually. This is specifically because So many of the complaints about Brilliant and Shiny is that it's just because they don't have stuff from Platinum. If any of the remakes would ever get to their third version, I feel like BDSP are the ones to get them. Just because they're so faithful. But I wouldn't count on it. Nothing's confirmed and... Did they, they... It hasn't ever, like, historically happened. Platinum. Oh, sorry. I said diamond. Yeah. Platinum, yeah. Uh... You know, you know why I said diamond? Check this out. Because, for some reason, I think of Diamond as separate from Pearl. Because... Way back, way back... In the Game Boy Color days, there used to be these bootleg Pokemon games. Uh, I guess I'm gonna steal Did You Know Gaming's thumbnail for this. 
called Pokemon Diamond and Jade. And this is this is what the this is what the boxes look like. I know because my friend actually I think the same at the same trip that he brought back Counter Strike Condition Zero, he also brought back copies of Pokemon Diamond and Jade. And it looked like these they had fake Pokemon and they were just ROM hacks of some other monster catching Game Boy game. Pretty good actually. It's called Telefang. You got monsters' phone numbers, and then you, you you could call them up, booty dial them in the middle of battle to, to to have them fight for you. It's very interesting. So in my mind, that's Pokemon Diamond because I heard of that version first, and then Pokemon Pearl is just Pokemon Pearl and Platinum. Da 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 da. da. Oh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire didn't get the Alpha ep Delta episode. Maybe they'll make one for BSP. Maybe. I don't know if that... Does that count as, like, Emerald? I, I'm not exactly sure what the extra episode was. Is that is that content from Emerald? You know, Mega Ruby off Sapphire? Wine Rib, how you doing? Don't know why, but I'm a sleepy stream. Even playing Halo. I'm, the dice pretty comfy. It's a little less action and more contemplation today. Welcome on in. Hope you have a nice, cozy time. Let the sounds of plasma... Grenades and shots lull you to sleep. And of course, there's always dulcet tones. Thank you for coming on by. Thank you for choosing Air Minokadobo for your in flight entertainment. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was Rayquaza stuff. Okay. I've never actually played Emerald. Uh, it is the one Pokemon game that I don't own and or ever played. I do own the Japanese version, I got it for six bucks. Because it was quote unquote bad condition. But in reality, it was like. The box was squished, but it still had the manual. It still had. It came with like the wireless adapter for the Game Boy Advance. The cartridge was pristine. Like, you wouldn't call that bad condition in the US. In the US, like, bad condition means the label is ripped off and there's no box or anything. Not that I agree with that, like... So many eBay listings are like, Oh, condition, good! And there's like no label. It's all dirty. Uh, the pins are like scraped off. How is that good? Please. Minoka Plane. Speaking of... Speaking of buying things off eBay, I decided, I, I decided which eBay listing to buy for the Halo books. I found a listing for two of the novels that was only like eight bucks. That's a pretty good deal, four dollars each. I got the Flood and Fall of Reach, so if I ever want, if I ever want anything else, I'll just go. I'll just go find them. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hiya! Have to make sure not to get flanked. Hello. Is it just me, or are the enemies more resilient now? The grunts are taking a few more hits than I remember. Alright, I gotta make use of grenades since there's just so many lying around anyway. Speaking of Halo lore. I know Jakado X is currently doing a stream of, like, he's, it's like he's doing a, a seminar of the entirety of Halo's story up to Halo Infinite. I was watching a little bit before stream today. Just, you know, brushing up. Fun times, fun times. He was showing off, like, over the years they made commercials and whatnot for Halo that, according to the developers, are canon. I don't know if it was Halo 3 or ODST or something, but at one point, they made a real-life Warthog. And then the commercials were just like soldiers driving it around and fighting Covenant. It was super cool. It looked so realistic because it was real. All right, all right now. Arrgh. 
Any other ones want to tussle? I could do this all day. I can't do this all day. That was a lie. <laughs> Out of all the Halo enemies, like, I feel like the Jackals are the least developed. The Grunts have their comic relief and the lore about how they they, they, they drink from food nipples and their mass produce cannon fodder. The elites and brutes from Halo 2 actually have this whole rivalry thing going on. The hunters are like worms. The jackals are just kind of jackals. I don't know, I feel like there's something missing. Something deeper that they could have. Again, I don't know the lore too much. Dun, da da dun. Food nipples. I mean, you know, it's a nipple. What's wrong with nipples? Everyone's got them. Ow. Dun, da da dun. Da 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 da. I'm gonna be real careful. Real careful. I think my only regret is that I didn't start Halo Combat Evolved earlier. Because this ended up becoming an impromptu Halo week. I'm having lots of fun, but at the same time, it's a variety stream. There's got to be a variety. Halo three days in a row, not sure about that. Dun, da -da -dun. I wonder, is that where I need to go? Is that some kind of teleporter up there? Guess not. Oh no! Ah! You don't know about Halo. You don't know enemies. Can we talk about FPS enemies? Yeah. What do you want to talk about? I can talk about AI and FPSs. Over time, I feel like AI first-person shooters got worse. Because you know, for a long time in the '90s and 2000s, a big selling point of FPS's was how realistic the enemy AI was and how much they like communicated with each other and talked to each other and actually felt like they were trying to outsmart you. But over time, I don't know how much of this is FPS's dwindling in popularity or they just spent, spent less and less time on the single player. But a lot of the AI in modern FPS is kind of just like stand there and shoot at you so that you can shoot at them. Think of this. Probably just because that's what the playtesters want. They don't want to feel like they're being outsmarted. They want to feel like super powerful dude. John Halo Marine Man Chief. Ironically though, this game has really good AI. For its time and even now. Remember the enemies added in Half-Life Opposing Force? Have we got no explanation for those? Oh yeah, like the extra aliens. Oh, so Half-Life, I did stream Half-Life, but Opposing Force is this like expansion pack where you played as a soldier instead of Gordon Freedman. Gordon Fredman. And they did stuff like add enemies and aliens that weren't in the original game. They were pretty cool, but like the lore just, they just invented lore. No really, no real reason why there's extra an, an aliens, they're just, they're just armor. They never come back in any other Half-Life game. Not much to say about that lore-wise, it's just, those games were made by other studios and they just kind of did what they wanted. Gearbox, specifically. Man, remember when Gearbox made good first-person shooters? And then they made Duke Nukem Forever. Come on, come on. I don't have to do this all over again. America Online, how are you doing? How was your Monday? Hope it was pretty good. 
I, I posted this in AOL's chat, but hey, let's talk about it because remember the Nick Online Smash game? Uh, they just released, or rather, announced their first DLC character, and I did not expect this at all. You know, I expected Jimmy Neutron. I expected. Uh, uh, Timmy Turner, you know, the big Nintendo, Nintendo, the big Nickelodeon, like, popular cartoons. Yeah, no, the first DLC character is Garfield. And they, they revealed him on a Tuesday. I feel like that was absolutely on purpose. Anyone else want a piece? <laughs> kids love Garfield. Do they? Like, do kids know who Garfield is? I mean, I guess, you know what? It's probably to tie in with that new Garfield movie that's going to happen soon. Starring uh, 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 Crispy Rat. Ooh, this music, though. Oh, crap, there's Flood. I'm going to let them fight amongst themselves. They'll help me get rid of enemies. I can hear them going at it. You love Garfield. Now question, what do you know Garfield from? If not the memes, and I guess if you happen to read the, the Sunday co the web comics in the paper, then sure. Like he is a comic character. But when I was a kid, Garfield had this show on TV and there's so much Garfield merchandise. It was really hard not to know about him. So I'm curious how People are finding out about him in this new, like, generation. Worst company appreciates the Half-Life expansions being science funds. Blue shift and opposing force. Literally physics forces and a blue shift when, like, light waves reach the blue spectrum. Or something like that. Absolutely. Keeping with the, the theme. Uh, thanks for been playing Uncharted on PS4. I think they just released a remaster too. Or are about to. Uncharted's great. I'm sad that Naughty Dog... Well, I mean, good for people who, who are big fans of The Last of Us. Last of Us is pretty good. But I, I really liked Uncharted and how they were just like unapologetically fun Indiana Jones style movie games. It was just fun. I, I don't know if I appreciate all these feels that l games like Last of Us are trying to make me feel. Do 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 do. Uh, the amount of times enemies will be shooting at you despite horrible conditionings threatening all your lives, like the building being on fire. That's a little unrealistic. See, yeah, you know what? That's why I like the flood and the covenant interactions in this game. There's specific AI to make them prioritize each other instead of you. Because that's threatening them. Yeah, I like interaction like that in games. You don't see it as much anymore. Look, they're having firefights across the bridge. Heck yeah. Worst company says... The Garfield announcement was more head-turning than any of Smash's. Well, Smash, you pretty much know what they expect. Or, you know, even when something is unexpected, it's still in the realm of possibility. If anything, Sora was the most head-turning announcement for me. Because legal things. Garfield, like... I didn't even know Nickelodeon owned Garfield. I guess they do? For the cartoon? That's why it was so unexpected. Or is this like the Solid Snake moment of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl? I don't know the licensing. I I didn't expect the licensing. That's the thing. Uh, you know Garfield from the two live-action movies. Oh, with Bill Murray. The live-action movies where Bill Murray like thought it was one director, so he's like, "Oh, I bet the script's good," and then realized he totally mistook who was directing the movie. Yeah, comics in your elementary school. I see. Yeah, same risk company. I didn't even know Garfield. I don't know what the state of Garfield's licensing rights are. 
Steve Minecraft. Also pretty shocking. Not unexpected, though. Like, if Microsoft would give anybody to Nintendo, and they already gave Banjo, then of course Minecraft. Because it's freaking Minecraft. Minecraft? Minecraft was coming out. Did they just shoot each other? There's so many blood. Ah! Alright, let's tackle this more intelligently. Minecraft, like, it was in beta when I was in college. So I had no idea. Notch had no idea. Nobody had any idea it would become as big as it did. Why am I not getting ammo? Ow! Wait a minute. Those Flood have assault rifles. Why are they shotgunning me? Yo, they're not holding real guns. They're real fake guns. Are we gonna do this the speed runway? Gotta keep moving. Whatever I do, don't stop. Flutter getting smarter. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, this is not the time, Elite. No, the Flutter coming. See, yeah, go, go, be preoccupied. Oh crap, the Flood one. Ah! 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 You got the Nathan Jake collection for free. Oh yeah, for PS Plus. I miss Uncharted. We saw a big, like, shift from first-person shooters to third-person shooters as, like, consoles moved from the PS3 generation to the PS4 generation. I wonder if that is more to, like, people getting tired of them? Or just games being able to tell more personal stories when you can see your character and rather than be in their eyes, you know? I remember reading an article for Uncharted 1 when it was about to come out in uh, a gaming magazine. I forget which one. EGM, Game Informer, something. But basically... Uh, they talked about how Nathan Drake had, like, custom animations for everything he did. Like, you hide behind a wall, and there's, like, one in 400 chance you'll ever see him hide behind the wall in the exact same way ever. And how, like, he jumps at a cliff, and sometimes he, like, struggles a little bit. He goes, like, whoa! He almost falls off, but he doesn't. Just all these little things to make it feel like Drake isn't super powerful, godlike luck man, even though he is. Just make him feel a little more human. That's a good game design right there. Uh. Oh, they just straight up gave games for free. Did they do that? Wow. I, I hope I got those. Alright, I can't. I cannot stay in one place. I have to move. Gotta move on! Playing Uncharted, uh, Infamous. Oh crap, I forgot about Infamous. Entirely. Those games being things. I'm gonna bait the enemies out. I'm gonna grenade their asses. It is the only way I can survive. This area is so misleading. Like, it doesn't feel like this many Flood can be in one room. Like, where were they this whole time? It looked empty a second ago. Stop it. Stop it. Every corner. Every corner has more Flood. I need a better weapon for this. Uh, da, ba -da -da. Yeah. 
You like how Uncharted 1 starting added supernatural stuff. I guess that's kind of a spoiler for Uncharted 1, but I don't mind, personally. I already played it. Uh, sorry, just thinking. I constantly have to think about, like, hmm, that's a spoiler for that game. Should I say it if I, in case I ever want to stream it? But I, 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 I need to learn to lighten up a little bit. I don't mean to be a hard ass about that stuff. I'm just being careful in case I ever play it. But no, I don't actually personally mind when it comes to that. But yeah, Uncharted totally has that Indiana Jones style of like, oh, there's an ancient curse in this artifact. And that, what could, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, actual, actual like demon spawning from hell. That's cool. That's great. Maybe we shouldn't have touched the ancient treasure then. It had a curse on it. <laughs> I think a video game is a perfect place for that kind of stuff to happen. And you know, movies, if they set the tone right. I remember when Uncharted 1 first came out, people like were upset at the twist that that supernatural stuff was starting. I think it made sense. Like, the tone of the game was always B-movie. Not B-movie, like... Just movie fun. You're excited to see the mystery of the third Uncharted game. Woo! Hope it's something good. I only played Uncharted 1 and 2, so I wouldn't know. It was around the time that Uncharted 2 came out that I modded my PS3. I jailbroke it. So I had Uncharted 1 and 2. And then what happens whenever I jailbreak a console is I, I you know, install the backups. And there's just so many games available to me that I get that, like, choice paralysis. And then I just never play games. Okay, make a beeline left side. When I get to the elite, do not fight the elite. Fight the flood the elite is fighting. Work with them. That's my plan. Done. Da da da. You're done playing for the night. <laughs> Too much adrenaline before bed. I'm not sure what I'm feeling right now. What I always liked about Halo is that the pace wasn't too fast. I mean, compared to, like, PC shooters before this era, Halo's pretty slow-paced. Ah! This is why I gotta prioritize the Flood. You know what? I shouldn't waste a single shell on the infection forms. The popcorn can do whatever, and they're not the threat to me. They bring down my shield. But the combat forms are the ones that have, like, freaking guns. Indiana Jones. Da-da-da. Hope I'm feeling the heat from the gravy. Oh, I'm feeling delicious. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm thinking about how KFC recently uh, had a Twitter interaction with uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter. Is this? Well, I'm at freaking full health. Full shield, but there's just so many guns coming at me at once. I, I, I'm not feeling the love tonight. It is not where I am. But you know what I do love? Raids from Kamen Rider OT. Kamen Rider, can we get a shout out for him? Yellow Pikachu, thanks for chatting out. Kamen Rider, how you doing? Welcome on in, how you doing? Soul Sapphire, Vimiku, Miku, Kamen Rider, ow. Y'all, Kamen Rider was playing a little bit of the first game made by the Alpha Dream, right? The makers of Mario and Luigi. Maybe not the first game, but their first RPG. Oh, come on. I didn't want to use a plasma grenade on you. What a waste. Ah! We're going to be in this room for a while. <laughs> Tomato Adventure. It looked really good, Kamen. How do you like it? How do you think it stacks up to Mario and Lo Loogie Doogie? I don't know if it's Paw 
possible. But I'm gonna try to like wait them out in here. If it's possible to reduce their numbers at all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I think I did it. There's just popcorn left. Like, whatever, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You and me, boys. Yeah, they're preoccupied. I'm, I'm moving on. Have fun over there. That guy had a rocket launcher. Popcorn! Those are the carrier forms. I figured out their name. Ugh. Well, come on in, everybody. How was your night? Game's a lot darker than you thought. Yeah, you were talking about how, like, the tomatoes exiled people that didn't like to eat tomatoes and stuff like that. Like, they were literally excommunicated from society. Who knew vegetables could be so dramatic? And fruits. I can't wait to see more, actually. I was really happy that you were playing that today. I hope Sprint's doing okay. Y'all were supposed to do some solo lock, but he had to do some work stuff. Oh, I'm back here. All right, same strategy. It worked the best. Oh, they're trying to jump up. No, that was a dead one. In Dead Rising 3, there's somebody that says, like, that's ridiculous. When they're talking about zombies holding guns. Oh, it's like they're talking about Halo. That's something that games did a lot more back in the 90s and 2000s. Directly rip on other games, like with references and stuff. I remember the ads for, like, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger with, like, Crash Bandicoot and Sonic in casts. Or was it Kai the Kangaroo? Finally both of them, actually. Alright. These Flood did not drop shotgun ammo. Great. Where did you come from? I think they're literally just spawning wherever. This is cheating. That's right, this is cheating. Ow! Dun 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 I guess that's a good point. Dead Rising 3 was an Xbox One exclusive, so they probably like made that cheeky reference on purpose. Specifically because Halo, Xbox, wow. Common says Mario Luigi's definitely more polished. You're seeing their beginnings. The music sounds totally Mario and Luigi. And the sprite art. If you look at the sprites, I don't know if you noticed, but like the sprites have the exact same posture as Mario and Luigi in the Mario and Luigi game. Kind of funny. You could just take enemies from that game and just drop them in Mario and Luigi. No one would bat an eye. Oh, there's a pistol. Yes. You forgot about the Mario Luigi mechanic where bosses have multiple parts. That seems to be a staple of like a lot of Mario RPGs. It was a thing in Super Mario RPG and it was also a thing in Paper Mario, I believe. No, now they're both shooting at me! This is not what I wanted. I'm gonna hide right here. Ah! Not a good place to hide. Dun 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 Could also be a dig out zombie stuff. I have not watched a zombie movie. <laughs> there, 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 the end of the sentence. No. I've not watched a zombie movie where the zombies actually use guns. But uh, I'm sure they're out there. Like, if anything, what, what Shaun of the Dead might have been one to do it. But, uh... I haven't watched that many zombie flicks. I don't mind horror movies, I just don't go specifically to watch them. 
boogies in general. The side route is not working. There's just so many flood that by the time I have to reload my shotgun, they've already overwhelmed me again. My strategy? Is to try not to have to reload. It's not working, but I'm trying. Assault rifle? Yes, please. Paper Mario. They did announce. Oh crap, I went the wrong way. They did announce. Oh no, Ali, please. Paper Mario coming to the Nintendo Online thing. It's not Virtual Console. I'm not going to call it Virtual Console. I think Nintendo wants people to call it Virtual Console. And it's interesting. Because every time an update to one of those services come out, there's the usual... There's the usual negativity on the internet about how, like, oh, these aren't the games I want. Oh, these, only this game, only this many games? How come not more? So it's interesting that specifically the update's gonna have just Paper Mario. Just Paper Mario. See, I can't even double back. This is, this is tough, man. This is rough. This is Scruff McGruff. Oh, yo! You notice how Chief's body just kind of like sunk into the ground? The physics in this game are kind of wonky. They didn't have real ragdolls. Like, your body falls on the ground and then it tries to adjust the position of everything. At least to some funky positions. Yes, 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 go, 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 go. I got relatively enough shield. Just go, just go. I, uh... I knew that guy was around the corner. What are those reflexes, man? I shot first. I am Han Solo. Get the Babudu Solo. I wonder how a Star Wars character would fare in the Halo universe. Han Solo doing the doing a Millennium Falcon run across the Halo ring. That'd be pretty cool to see. That's no moon. Of course it's not a moon, it's a ring. What kind of moon would be a ring? I don't know why I'm taking the assault rifle. It's not that good. Flip by like butter sticks. Welcome on in, Ravencroft. Hope you're well. Nice butter. Dun 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 dun. I'm overall happy with the Nintendo 64 emulator. Like, yeah, one game has some graphic issues. It's just really sad that it's Ocarina of Time. No! This rocket launcher guy. Can I take that rocket launcher? Yes, yes, this will help. This will help immensely. No, no, no. Oh, I forgot that this area had carrier forms. I didn't want to shoot the rocket launcher in an enclosed space. That was my mistake. 
but yeah, overall happy with the N64 emulator. It's unfortunate that there's input lag. It's unfortunate that Ocarina has graphic bugs. I hope that they fix it, but yeah, just the main problem right now is Nintendo's programmers ain't that great. I wish they were better. I'm sure a lot of people do. Da -da 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 -da. Raven stressed. Dealing with a lot. That's how it is. That's how it is. Hope the stream helps you relax at least a little bit. I made the mistake. I made the mistake of doubling back. Oh, 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 I'm alive. Oh, I'm alive. Just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah! If there's any proof that the human weapons are better than the Covenant ones. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked by the Flood and their assault rifles and shotguns. Whenever I had to deal with pulse weapons, I was mostly fine. Alright, alright, we got a strategy, we just gotta execute it. Da 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 I was trying to sneak on by. Sneak around, huh? This game kind of just flies in the face of the fact that it has a shield. It's throwing enough enemies at me that I can't, I can't find any place to just sit back and recover. See, look. Try to find a little safe alcove. Five enemies are on me immediately. I need to change things. I need to make a change for once in my life. Gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. They're finding each other on the wind, you know. Cause they got no place to go. That's why I want you to know. Ow. I'm starting with the chief in the mirror. I'm gonna throw plasma grenades. No flood could get me in the mirror. Take a look at yourself and throw that nade. Alright, alright, alright. I'm getting a little frazzled. We have the plan, execute it exactly the same. It worked before, it'll work again. I just gotta be a little bit smarter once we get to that one hallway with the, the elites. Speaking of enemies in FPS games. If you want to talk about a game that has good AI, I think the quintessential example is Fear 1, First Encounter Assault Recon. Not a lot of people have played it because, you know, it's it, it markets itself as a scary game, so people don't realize it's just a very solid first-person shooter. Okay, okay, I think, I think I'm relatively safe. If I just, if I just, if I just wait it out here. Take that. Yes. Use the shotgun for this. Focus on carrier forms. There's a combat form in the vents. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, health pack. I need that. 
It's working. It's working. I passed the room. Finally. Oh, oh, oh. Fear one was great. Two was all right. Common, which one was the one you played on stream? Oh, please tell me that's checkpoint done. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> it just yeets them into the stratosphere. Oh, a banshee shooting at me, huh? I don't need this right now, Covenant. Fight the flood. I'm just making my way downtown, walking fast. Oh god, you have a rocket launcher. Ah! The 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 soldiers in fear. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Wait, I made it that far before. I'm surprised they didn't check my me there earlier. Either way, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just punch my way through. Punch my way through. The soldiers would actually talk to each other and then actively try to flank you. But there are times where they would kind of lie about where they are and sneak around you. And the one of the big points of the game was that the graphics were so good, there was like shadows and stuff, that you could actually track them just by movements along the walls. Their shadows going from place to place. Oh! I don't want to take down the Banshee. The Banshee's kind of helping me. But yeah, I I don't know, how was the AI in Fear 3 common? You played that one on stream, huh? Okay. Isn't that good, but it's a fun co-op ride. Sounds like sounds like what happened with Dead Space 3. But then that that kind of enforces my point. It's like it doesn't mark it as well to have a well-designed single player game. It markets better to have like fun co-op experience. Like anything that looks like a better value to people. Multiplayer and co-op. What are you doing, Banshee? They really want to get at me. I'll take this for now. <laughs> yeah, to be like that, soul. We gotta focus for this part of the game. I'm doing a heckin' struggle. All aboard the struggle bus. Population me. If you look to your left, you see pain. You know that meme where, where the two guys are on the bus and one of them's looking out the window at the at the sky and he's like all happy. And the other one's looking at the cliff side. And he's sad. I'm both of those people right now. Because I'm happy I'm playing this game. But also, I'm just kind of... <laughs> I'm not making much progress. Da -da. It's alright. It's okay. I'll get them another day. But also, can we talk about how the cliffside guy... Why is he sad? When I was a kid, I was on, like, school field trips on the bus. I was really excited to be on the side that saw the mountains. Because, like... You get to see everything move by so fast. I don't know about y'all, but I live in California, so if you're if you're if you're driving along the mountainside, when you look out on the side that isn't the wall, you kind of just see fields and desert plants, like they all look the same. But the but the cliffside is visually stimulating because it's just moving so dang fast. Your eyes try to like track it. And also, like, the engineering they had to do to put, like, 
to artificially carve pads into the wall? I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Pro streamer talking about cliff walls, somehow making a topic out of it. I don't even deal. I don't even f with these flood. F for flood. The gameplay point of these infection forms is that they kind of just... Oh god. Keep your shield from totally refilling. That's what makes them the most deadly. Oh! oh, oh. I wanna fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I'm thinking about how that one Halo Warthog jump video. I did a little more research about it. It basically kickstarted Red vs. Blue and the idea of Machinima. It was one of the original viral Halo videos. And the fact that it's got like copyright music. You just, it would not fly these days. But it specifically has that one song that whenever I go play. Animal Crossing New Horizons and I talk to Wilbur and I'm just like I want to fly I realize that's a generational thing that'll it just doesn't affect so many people <laughs> only because I grew up in the 90s with that song I just want to fly it was so you played on the radio all the time back then Just dating myself. Fear 3 definitely doesn't have a smart AI. It's probably harder to capture the same feeling with two players. Maybe. I have to do like an actual analysis and actually play that game. But that's probably it. It's just, as much as you can market better AI, it just. It, it's, it takes a lot of development time and thought and effort. For something that just not a lot of people notice. I wish I could just lock the doors behind me and give myself a little breathing room. Oh! What did you do? <laughs> the the banshee just rammed into me. I can't believe that happened. All right, I'm starting to think that I'm not gonna make it through this area unless I actually take out the Banshee. I'm trying to ally myself with it, but it's not listening to my plea deal. Probably means I have to use all of my rocket launcher ammo on it. Making you think about how the AI bounces towards a Multiplayer experience in GTA Online. It just buffs the accuracy. I mean, that's one of the ways AI gets harder. That kind of makes sense to me. It's less about enemies just being more annoying and they just become a little more realistic. But, uh, yeah, getting, like, Halo 2 energy with the Jackal Snipers. I'm glad I'm not playing that game right now. They literally one-hit kill you, even on normal difficulty. Well, on normal, they kind of two-hit kill you. But if you're not careful, they can one-hit kill you. Which is just kind of BS in any difficulty, really. But I understand why they're there. They just have to be designed in a way that they should be possible to take out. rely on every dirty trick you can to pass by. That's called cheese, my friend. And you make every opportunity to make use of it. Lactose intolerance, not a thing. Ooh, ooh, I found a way to recover. Rocket launcher, please. Yes, yes, I'm making it across the bridge. I'm almost there. No, Banshee, no. No, Banshee. 
I'm almost there. Come on. Checkpoint done. Give me. Give me that sweet checkpoint done. The most calming words. Loading done. Checkpoint done. Yes. In any Halo gameplay experience, you see that checkpoint done, you know you pat yourself on the back. Doesn't matter if you're currently in the middle of a firefight or anything like that. You just know you're safe enough. Time to carry your form. Where do I go? Where do I go? Ow. Gimme, give gimme give the goods. Gimme the goods. I need to find another one of those power relays. That's where I came from. Look at that. That's pretty clever. They marked the area you came from with a dead elite. So that you know. You double back on it. Oh, there it is. Da da da. Da da da. Ba 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 da da da. Da 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 da. Please tell me the elevator works. See, with all this future anti gravity tech. I wonder what happens if the power just goes out. Does the elevator just fall to its doom? Is there some kind of mechanical backup? I'm an engineer, I gotta think about this stuff. It's sci-fi, maybe there's a safety in place, but... I don't know, there's gotta be emergency stairs or something. I ain't dealing with y'all. I gotta go. Boom, ba down, do bow, boom, ba do doom, ba down. Doom, ba doom, ba doom, 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 doom. They don't have guns. They don't bother me none. I just gotta follow all the arrows I've been following before, but backwards. This is it. It's gonna work. You got ammo for me? Nothing. Rude. Okay, let's take care of the next full time. Oh! Ha ha! No! I had the high ground for just a second. Let's take care of the and then I had the underground, six feet underground to be precise. Gotta keep moving. Remember what um Jammer Lambie said. No cutting corners. Cheese, however, is perfectly fine. You can't cut corners on cheese if it's a wheel. Wise words from Minokadobo. I remember playing the heist in Grand Theft Auto V. That was one of the only real reasons I got into it. Just playing with friends on the online not like specifically playing GTA for the online or even for the story. Just playing with friends. Rocket launcher. Now that we're outdoors, I need the assault rifle. If there was a pistol, that'd be even better. There's not enough ammo for this thing. Alright, well. I would like to take the Warthog, but I need a... I need a Gunther. They call me a devil? Do you see the flood? What are they, the biblical angels? I saw a tweet that was like, I told my girl she looked like an angel today. And then she started wobbling, wobbling in the fourth dimension and grew a million eyes and turned into rotating wheels. Oops. Biblically accurate angel girlfriend. It's the new thing. Get with the times. What's up, Hunter? Just gotta keep moving. They can't shoot me. You're too slow. Da 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 da. You appreciate the latest heist in GTA as a solo one. I would have liked that there was at least Wait, AI. The pulse oh. Yet. Find a banshee and fly to the location marked by the nav point. Sorry. What if I take one of these? Get out the banshee with your hands up. 
Apparently, oh, in Halo Infinite. In Halo Infinite, when an enemy has a Banshee, the AI is coded that it will just try to do everything it can to last minute preserve itself. So, if the Banshee is about to explode, the pilot kind of just jumps out, even if they're 50 feet in the air. So you see them just kind of leave Bale out of their Banshee without, without any sort of like parachute or anything. If they had a parachute, it'd be a little more realistic, but as it is, it's just hilarious because they jump out and they fall. I want to see that happen when I play Halo Infinite tomorrow. It's going to happen. Whoa. Down, down, do, do, do. Where would a Banshee be? There's one. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Go, go, go. We gotta do some Star Fox dog fights. All right, where are the other banshees? Let me add them. Can't you do that, Star Fox? Do a barrel roll. Watch that target. I got one! You're good, but I'm better! Fun fact, that song is in five fourths time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dun, dun, da, 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 Perfect for a boss fight, I think. Fox, it's one of ours! Bill! I don't care! <laughs> Ouches! The fact that Fox and Bill went to the same academy. Like, that guy was always bullying me in the locker room. That's why I shot him down. Fox! That's literally a war crime! I'm a mercenary. I don't play by the government's rules. Fox, I'm gonna have to report you to the Geneva Convention! I don't know how that works. Something like that. Just try and stop me, Bill. I'm creating my own Star Fox fanfiction right now, apparently. Oh, this Banshee's about to explode. I gotta ditch it. Yeah. Just what we needed to revive Star Fox. War crimes. Edgy. Modern. You can never say that Star Fox Zero didn't do nothing for the franchise. It proved to Miyamoto that Star Fox needs to be darker and edgier. All right, if we're gonna do another one of those Sentinel sections, I should bring a weapon. This is a weapon. Now that's a gun, not a knife. What would y'all like from a new Star Fox game? You know what? I would like them to go in a kind of Halo route where the focus is more on like story levels, kind of like Star Fox Assault, but still with the freedom of Star Fox 64. Is that an invisible? No, it's just a... I thought it was an invisible elite. It's just a plasma rifle just kind of jumping into the air. What are they running around at? 
It's just kind of circling the beam like a bunch of mosquitoes or mods. Oh! Oh, yo! Star Fox Adventures 2. I mean, Jay, if they... If it was made by the Zelda team, I'd love it. Star Fox Adventures did some cool stuff. Like, it actually had a plot and story and character development. It just was very rushed. They had to remake it for a system it wasn't originally on. And add characters that weren't originally in the story. Jay, did you see that beta build that got leaked of Star Fox Adventures for the N64? Or rather, Dinosaur Planet? I played it on stream once, and it's actually pretty complete. Like, I don't know how long it is, but I could get through a big chunk of story. Like, it crashed a couple of times, sure. But for the most part, it was like I was playing Star Fox Adventures. Take one of these. And... That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. Sweet. Now let's get out of here before the Sentinels show up. Oh god. Oh god, though. No. Rocket Launcher! <laughs> you see that tower of power? I tried to jump over the flood, but they jumped and made a, a literal wall to stop me. I don't think that's AI. That's probably emergent behavior. <laughs> Funny, though. I got an achievement. Zombie Repeller. You want to try playing it? It works pretty good. I ended up playing it on a real Nintendo 64 because I got uh, a flash cart. I don't know if it'll work better on emulator or worse. I won't make any promises. Uh. That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. Who wants some? Ah! He wanted some. He got all of me. Look at that Master Chief sexy pose. Could you be craving some of my chicken nuggies? <laughs> ah! Oh! I'm just trying to survive, man! Like, soinks! I don't know when we entered the movie theater, Scoob! But this mutant popcorn is definitely off the menu. What? I got killed by an infection form. I am so embarrassed. All right, new plan. All right, new plan again. Watch this, it's gonna be cool. I, I said it was gonna be cool. Ow. Break out your old PVM. You got a PVM? Can I buy it off of you? I want one of them old CRT Sony PVMs. I just want one. I I missed I missed out on the whole the pulse generator overloaded. One more bandwagon when TV companies and whatnot were switching to LCD monitors. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where does Master Chief even... I'm out of ammo! Uh, loading done, checkpoint done, checkpoint done, checkpoint done, checkpoint done. Please, please, please. I would have loved if a flood just immediately took my Banshee and flew away. Energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up. Oh ho. The systems on the Pillar of Otter have failsafes even I can't override without authorization from the captain. We'll need to find him before his neural implants to start the fusion core detonation. One target removed. Let's take care of the final pulse generator. Well, Katana is setting up a little bit of lore. We gotta find Captain Keys. Last time we had contact with him, he kind of just... Kind of just flew off on his own to kill some Covenant. The badass that he is. But you know, his radio comms were having problems. I'm sure he's fine. But besides, okay, this is the banshee I ditched. I could probably punch it to death. Am 
Man! They really don't make them like they used to. That thing is solid. Get him, welcome on in. Head crabs are more deadly now. Worse. Oh, talking about how... Wait, what were we talking about? Half-Life and Halo? Either way. Welcome on in. Gordon Freeman. Oh, is that like dying to a single head crab? Head crabs are worse than Flood. Because Flood only really do shield damage. I want to say it's like dying to one of those... They're called snarks. The little buggies that you throw out. That swarm the enemy. And then if there's no enemies, they come back and fight you. Oh, this is where it came from. That's just embarrassing, because you're the one that unleashed them. It's cool how this area was designed to be seen from above like this. Knowing that you were going to go get a banshee later. Dun 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 dun. Da 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 da. Jay's got a 20 inch PVM. Oh, it's not the size of your PVM, it's how you use it. Showing off. Pretty impressive, though. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Wait, Captain, where are you going? Party time, Chief. Are you in or are you out? Are you out? B I O B. Bring your own bullets. <laughs> Abikira, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. I died my way to the next objective in this level, and I'm just, I'm just making my way downtown. Playing some Halo. With the last few stretches of the game, there's only a couple of levels left. One target remaining. Let's take care of the final pulse generator. I would like the objective marker to make sure I'm going the right way. I'm not going the right way. Wonderful. Is there a boost on this thing? Whoa. Wonderful. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Old graphics. Something about the old art style. It's so It's like it's nighttime. I think it is nighttime here. Hard to get that feeling. Everything is so washed out in the new graphics. Like, detail-wise, it's pretty. That tunnel leads to the next section of Canyon. The final But I love game. games that do this thing where if you're in an area that you came from before, at the very least, it makes it look like time has passed. So you really feel like you're not just backtracking. They all have rocket launchers. What is this? I appreciate that this area is large enough to... Wait, what? Oh. To fly a banshee through. Pretty good! Oh, hello? You love the snarks. Tiny boys! They really are, though. Oh man! I see what the game's doing. No vehicles allowed. You must be this small to enter. They did that on purpose. Heck. Whoa. All right, let's make our way. Ah. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da. This is basically Indiana Jones. I'm fighting my way through this ancient structure made by this long extinct civilization. Okay, there's no way they were all hiding behind the walls. That's kind of dumb. No ammo! Help back! Oh, 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 oh! Looks kind of snowstormy in the old graphics. Yeah, like you're actually being impeded by the weather. Pretty cool. Aha, popped him. On the one hand, it's nice that they don't have weapons to shoot me with. On the other hand, I would like a weapon to shoot them with. Now they have weapons. They're so resilient! Ow! They just not... 
they didn't get the atmosphere right. That's really the only complaint I have. Otherwise, it is pretty. There is a uh, mod that adds ray tracing to this game. And actually every game in the Master Chief Collection. And it looks so pretty. The, the atmosphere is about right to what the original game was. Because it makes everything darker, because the lights have to be, like, realistically cast. Just interesting side effect. It actually made the game look a little more accurate. I'm digging this percussion beat. I blame 343 Studios on that one. I... That was on me. I blame myself on that one. Alright, okay. These are just distractions. They do not impede me. They didn't even hit me. Okay, here's my plan. Here's my here's my here's the game plan. Here's the here's the the whiteboard football strategy. There are health packs right there. I just need to clear the way of any and all flood surrounding them. Pick up this needler fight my way through just these guys. There's one more health pack. I was gonna say, so I should be fine. They got explosives, though. I gotta prioritize them. The weapons I have just aren't up to snuff. I'm gonna try to look for more ammo. I don't think I'm gonna find any. That's the main problem right now. I just got the plasma pistol. Nice drumming, Yellow Pikachu. Throw a grenade. Run towards grenade. I was hoping it would explode a little faster. My main issue is that I need to stock up on weaponry. But in order to do that, I gotta kill the enemies that are here, because they have the weapons. They're just spawning everywhere. Give me something, give me something to work with. Assault rifle, yes! This is working. This is it! Here we go! Buddy, open door. See you later, suckers. Screw you guys. I'm going home. I'm making entirely more South Park references than I remember ever doing before. I was watching Nintendo Bauer do his little birthday, not even little, big birthday bash stream last weekend. He was playing a whole bunch of quote unquote bad video games. He finished Pepsi Man. Very impressive. That game is not easy. But he also played the South Park game for the N64. It was a first person shooter. And you know, first person shooters on the N64 had to like deal with the fact there's only one analog stick. The controls were not very intuitive. It also makes you realize how much South Park has changed since those days. Back then, you watched that and you felt like you were getting away with something, you know? Pepsi Man's a bad game? Well, he just kind of collected a bunch of infamous games, whether they were bad or not. I want to reboot Pepsi Man. It's not really bad as much as it's just a little unfair. I'm out in the open. That was a bad tactical decision. No, last time I was here, I had a tank. I think Twig's gonna go to sleep. Have a good night, Twig. Enjoy your night. Man, I've been on this level for almost two hours now. I'm hoping I can finish Halo before midnight. Alright, I'm gonna just... Ignore the fight. It does not concern me. I'm just gonna go. Just watch it from afar. 
where those elites go? Oh crap, it's a wall. Yup! Mm. Yup! There we go. Man, it's like I'm really part of something bigger than myself. I'm just trying to sneak around. Huh. It's like Metal Gear Solid 4. How there's like a war going on, but you're just sneaking through no matter which side because both sides will try to kill you. Oh crap, this tunnel is blocked off. That's the one I came through before. James, what's up? A chicken playing Halo? I got my requisite helmet. I got my Mountain Dew. I'm doing just fine. Hope you're well, James. It's been a while. Crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I'm not gonna waste ammo on this thing. Oh crap! But these things will definitely waste ammo on me. Cool. All right, I handled that pretty well, I think. Oh. Come on, come on. Ghosts! Yes! Ooh, I'm out of here! See you later, suckers! Boop, boop. Boop, boop. We need some tactics. Leroy Jenkins! I mean, they're not good tactics, but they're tactics. They're like Final Fantasy tactics. That elite is actively ignoring the flood that's standing right next to it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Be smart about this. Oh my god, I have propelled it towards me. Die! Hey! Get my trusty ghosty. Ooh! I haven't paid off the full down payment on this car yet. Which is weird because it's a down payment. That should be instant. Yup. Cool. Good tactics. Thank you. Would you all like to see me play Pepsi Man someday? I've beaten it before, like twice already. So it's not gonna surprise me, but it's not gonna, you know, be easy. I could probably finish it in a couple of hours. It would have to be like Pepsi Man plus something else. Maybe not too many other games, but just like one other game. Abigail, welcome on in, how you doing? Welcome to some Halo, some jamming music from the 2000s. Boom, boom. Oh, they're coming. I don't appreciate that I'm getting shot at by the Banshee and the Flood. One faction at a time, please. I know Master Chief is a popular person. Man, I feel like the melee is just useless when it comes to the Flood. Down. On second, Lavigail. Well, good to see you again. I remember your name. Hope you've been well. Yeah. I'm taking a break, a break from RPGs. Uh, just for a little bit, because Halo Infinite's coming out. And, you know, I'm still playing through my usuals. I got Dragon Quest V. I got Pokemon Shining Pearl. It's funny to me how slow I'm playing it compared to some other people. Because the game's already been out for a couple of weeks now. But I've only played it three times. I'm gonna wait for those flood to just go off. Eh. I'm gonna hide right here. I'm safe here. Master Chief, more like Master Coward. You remember the parts of MGS4 where soldiers were neutral? If you back them up with fighting PMCs, they'll be cool with you. Yeah, that's true. It's been a while since I played Metal Gear Solid 4. I was gonna see if I could emulate it. It runs pretty decently on emulator. I mean, PS3 emulators aren't, still aren't in a fantastic place. But they've made a long, 
they've, they've gone a long way. And Metal Gear Solid 4 is one of those games where they're specifically prioritizing it because it never got a re-release. Oh, come on, man. like I'm playing Gears of War modern cover shooter I appreciate that assault rifle for coming right at me <laughs> worst company would buy stun grenades and chuck them at PMC's I mean you're choosing your sides not that either side was particularly like the good guy versus the bad guy. That was the plot of Metal Gear Solid 4, right? There were rebels fighting for their justice, but also PMCs are just doing their job because they're just literally paid to be soldiers. Okay, you know what? Worth it. <laughs> Ryzone, welcome on in. Welcome to the Halo time. Welcome to me playing M-rated Shooty Bang Bang. They still shoot you even if you take their head off. The, uh, the enemies that are like all mutated, those are zombies. So yeah, yeah, they, they will definitely still shoot me even if I shoot their head. The other faction, those little aliens, I can headshot them, sure. But right now they're more useful to me as distractions for these zombies. The zombies are the bigger threat. That's the problem. Look at them go. Oh crap, I think they saw me. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that one's coming at me. Or no, it's not. I'll take it. Uh. M-rated shooty bangs. What kind of stream is this? Next thing you know, I'm going to be playing Fortnite. You! All right. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to maybe use this Banshee. Nope. <laughs> Don't know why I expected to. I shot it square in the face with a rocket. But you know, I could hope. You're sad that Domino RG RPG, welcome on in by the way. See that one I can headshot easy. You're sad that Oh, it's a weapon. Halo Infinite isn't releasing till like 1 p.m. And I've got work, so I'm okay with it, but I know a lot of people probably took off work for it. It should be a standard for games to release at midnight, honestly. I'm surprised that the, the, the Covenant won this interaction. Tiny brains, not in the head. The flood kind of is the brain. They're little alien parasites that take over the nervous system of other Sandian life. So the reason they're a threat is they can infect literally anything with a brain. In the world, in the universe. So the whole story of Halo is that the ancient race known as the Forerunners built Halos, which are like giant space lasers that destroy all life in the galaxy. So, uh, you know, the idea was sound for the greater good and everything. Destroy any life so the Flood can't take over. It just kind of kills everything, ever. There you go. Hey, 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 now I got my cherry picking of the lot here. Look at that. I can take whatever I want. Loot the place. Don't make you watch Parasite again. Never watched that movie. I'm thinking more of, like, Alien which I also haven't watched. There we go, I'm at full health too. Like it. <laughs> anime was a fun ride. You know that Halo got an anime? I think it's called like Halo Legends. I think it was animated by Toei Studios. 
I just realized I've made it to this area before. I just kept dying every time I respawned since then. Lemonade Cafe pointed out that there's like a complete collection of all the Halo movies and stuff. Including the anime. I gotta go get it. It's like 30 bucks. Which is a steal. For like a movie, several animated series. There's gonna be a Halo live action TV series on Paramount soon. Uh, Paramount Plus too. When it comes to these video on demand services, I hold out as long as possible from subscribing to them. Because at this point, everybody got rid of cable, right? But now all these companies are making their own streaming service that you have to subscribe to, and it's just... It's adding up to the cost of cable anyway. See, look at that. I shoot it in the head. There is no head. Makes me feel kind of dumb for having a sniper rifle. How many shots does it take? Two, three, four, five. This is insane. I feel like I shouldn't bother with this sniper. That makes me sad. 30 box. 30 box! <laughs> you have your internet cable. Oh! Don't be sad. At least you can still watch stuff. I talked about how I got my parents in Nella. Ah! We're fighting fire with fire! Crap, oh crap, oh crap, crap. Woof! Ow! I didn't realize he was still alive. I believe this checkpoint ain't too bad. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Bye. Yeah, Nova Glacial, I, I kind of see that now. I'm not going to use the sniper. It, it, it's not very effective, Pokemon style. The ghost, however, I'll continue to just run him over. Let's go! Whee! Haha! <laughs> I'm too fast for you. Oh god, I may have made a mistake. I like that those guys took each other out, though. Let's go. I played Halo 1 before so many years ago, but I haven't gotten this far since I first beat it on Xbox when I was a teenager. This is a nostalgic romp. Yeah! I was talking about how I got my parents a new TV. It's an LG, and I didn't know LG kind of comes with its free, like, internet cable and now it has Google Stadia they just released it today so you know I have that option I guess don't know what kind of controller I could connect to my freaking TV directly got him yeah baby yeah baby give me that give me that rocket launcher oh yes oh yes I'm good to go. Checkpoints are nice when you kill everything first. I'm really happy that that last checkpoint... <laughs> yeah, it was after I killed things. I wonder how checkpoints are going to work in Halo Infinite. Because it's an open world game. I'm wondering if it's going to just register like that. Like, you kill everything in a base, and then they make a checkpoint. I heard that's one of the reasons they're not bringing co-op right away when the game launches. Because checkpoints are going to be weird with two people, like, able to grapple all the way across the map. You gotta have some way to keep them close together. What's another open world game that has co-op? Borderlands, right? Ah, they don't really handle checkpoints like that. They have, like, respawn stations that if you die, you just go back to it. So it doesn't really have to care about that. Halo is going to be weird. Oh! Alright, alright. Alright, I'm just gonna... Take it nice and slow and steady. If I see them clumping up, that's when I bring out the rocket launcher. Or, you know, they just rocket launch themselves. <sighs> Melee sucks! It 
it's December. Isn't it winter already? This game is making me feel like it. I'm a California. I've got no concept of season, sadly enough. But I believe it. Remember that strange feeling? The snow glistening? I shall call it snow halation. Todokete setsuna saniwa. Namae o tugioka snow halation. Temperatures drop. Temperatures dropping. It's been getting pretty cold. Like my heart. Like my soul. Okay, that's rude. That's rude, Mr. Jackal. Oh, this is not good. The flood are actually dead. Now I'm just fighting Covenant again. Winter starts officially December 21st. Got it. I like this song, though. Hmm. Zombie music. They're so spread out, I feel like it's a waste to use my rocket launcher. I got enough ammo though. Alright, alright, okay. I'm doing I'm doing fine. I got relatively high health. Got enough ammo. Bitchy! Oh, should I just go for it? Yeah, yeah, I'm making a break for it. Go, 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 go! Ooh, boost that! Ready for dust off! I'm leaving them in my dust. Hee <laughs> hee. Deja vu. I just flew over here before. Higher on the sky, and I know it's my time to go. Flying true. And snow halation's a mystery. Standing on my feet. Got some fun when I try to be me. Whoa! Oh, that guy's dead already. Oh, Sentinels! Hey, wait a minute! They're not supposed to be active yet. Not until I stop the installation. They're learning. They're learning. <laughs> Please tell me I have a checkpoint in the air. Yes! There's no world music in Pac-Man World 2 is like this. What? The, the music? Like this? Like, duh, 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 like horror music? This is working. This is working good. Oh crap, oh crap, crap. <laughs> Maybe I can rocket jump. I tried so hard and I got so far. Look, it's all snowstormy. I like this effect that they got. Like, the further, the, the faster you go through the snow, the more it does look like you're actively flying through a snowstorm. It's cool. Aha! If they're not, if they're leaving the installation, then nobody's inside. Dummies. Yo. Oh crap, they're inside. I'm gonna find more ammo. I found more ammo. I didn't actually find ammo. It's all shotguns. This'll do. It's right here. It's right here. I'm fine. Hello? Goodbye. Why, hello there. You appreciate that you can describe this Halo stage as Pac-Man 2-like. If anything, that's making me want to play Pac-Man World 2. I'll tell y'all, the only thing that determines my schedule is really like... Did I hear about somebody talking about a game I haven't played or haven't played in a while? I want to play that. I'll schedule it on stream. And of course, you know, new games coming out. We got a healthy mix on this stream. New and old. I don't like to play new games just because they're new and I want the cloud or anything. I just want to play games. And I think it just makes sense to play them when they come out. 
I know there are people out there who like avoid streaming games like when they come out because they're they're thinking that like it conflicts with everybody else playing that game and you know it's, it's like you don't want to take away from your friends playing the game or you don't want to compete with that and I get that I absolutely feel that's a thing Final it is valid but let's get out of here at the same time I think the most important thing is still like play what you want to play because that's no, where you get... take oh you have a better idea. I can teleport a teleportation grid that runs through Halo. that's how the monitor moves about so quickly I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. So use this halo beam. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Permanently? Say, I think we should only try this once. Fine. Hey, you know what? I like that. They didn't have to make an excuse to why teleportation can't just work. Sure. Keys. Aw, oh, crap. Bring back the captain. The Covenant Network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo. Comrade is gonna go rest. Have a good rest, Common. Too late. The flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close Hi. as I can. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Good job, Cortana. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> She's in his head. That's why he banged his helmet. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, right zone. Buying food, playing games, same thing. Uh, Hammy, thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the Chicken Coop Grabbing SK Comfy. And Dark Elisa Draws, thank you for the raid. Master Chief, mind telling me what you're doing in the nurse's office? I... I threw up. Uh. Spartans can get queasy, too. Check it out! We're on the Truth and Reconciliation? Didn't we just do this area? Yeah! Yeah, I've been saying this whole time. The, the last few levels of the games are old levels, but repurposed again. It's clever. They were on a time limit when they made this game. So, uh, you know. How you doing, Dark Elisa Draws? How was art? I, you know, I could have guessed that you were doing art. Oh, crap. Leave me. Captain? Captain Keys? Captain? I've lost him. Wilbo, what's up? Kilroy was gaming. Hello, hello. Sarumanu, welcome. How was the art? What were you drawing? And also, welcome on in, Hammy. I'm a little scared that I see just a whole bunch of flood swarm in this area. We gotta find Captain Keys. He seems to be on another Covenant cruiser. But what's going on with him? He says, don't find him. Don't get him. Is this too late? Grunt, flood. Looks about right. <laughs> but Rune Factory 4, enjoy it. Wait, where did those where did those fellows go? They're fighting for their life. <laughs> I'm not helping. Welcome on into Halo. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. I usually play RPGs, but right now we're doing a little Halo week because Halo Infinite comes out tomorrow. And I'm playing through at least one Halo game before then, and it's this one. Plasma pistol. I don't want a plasma pistol. There you go. That's a lot better. You drawing Master Chief? Oh, I gotta see it. Do you have a link? Heck yeah. So you're excited for Halo Infinite? Do you like the games? Do you know the lore? I've only played Halo 1, 2, and 3 and a little bit of ODST. So I'm not, you know... I'm not the expert on the subject. Whoa. All I detect down there are pools of food. We should continue our search somewhere else. So I shouldn't go this way. All right, okay. Dark Lisa was drawing some Halo. Thought it'd be appropriate. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on by. I do feel like Wilbo has a, a little something, something to do with this. I see that Cortana. I'm feeling very threatened. Whoa! Ow! 
You have a habit of tugging the conversation around. Hey, you know, I do that too. It's just that when a raid comes in, I gotta like both give context for the people coming on in, also introduce myself, also like address the chat that happened right before the raid. So that, you know, I at least when I'm in a chat, I feel kind of bad when I say something that I want like to be addressed or answered and then a raid immediately comes in and overshadows every single thing like I know why so like it's not the streamers fault I'm just like well I guess I'm just gonna be invisible <laughs> I wish there was a better way to like handle it but you know I, I try to give everybody attention what's ODST it is a spin-off of Halo 3 that stars not a Spartan team not Master Chief, but just kind of like some regular Marines from this troop called the Orbital Drop Shot Troopers. ODST. But then things go horribly wrong, and they uh, they can't exactly uh, complete their mission. It's a very emotional story, actually. Good old Halo CE. What's up, Sakara? Welcome back. Uh, do you mind if I show it on stream, Dark Lisa Draws? Uh, an entire earlier version of the drawing. Whoa! Do you mind if I show it? This is gonna be on YouTube, by the way, but oh my goodness, this is fantastic. I like it. It does, yeah, it does look like a work in progress, but it still looks fantastic already. <laughs> uh, please do, yeah, okay. Alright, check it out. Uh, how can I do this? Instagram. Check it out. From Dark Elisa Draws. Look at this. It's John Halo Chief. And look, there's the Not Cortana. I don't know much about the story of Halo Infinite, but basically sometime during the course of Halo 4 and 5, Cortana goes haywire. And in Halo Infinite, you don't start out with her. The point of the game is to try to, like, stop her from doing crazy things. Like, it's hard to... S like, it's technically a spoiler, but, like... If I'm going directly to Halo Infinite, the sto the game's gonna tell me that anyway. So, you know, I, you know, I don't know why, but it's interesting. And you, sh you get this new AI that I wanna, I, I basically call her Cortana's little sister. <laughs> Cause she acts like one. It's gonna be interesting. I hope it, I hope the story turns out good. People are saying the gameplay's good, so. I'm hopeful. Yeah, right? It's fantastic! You did a good job, Elisa. I love it. Very good style, too. Very painterly. AI rampancy. Yeah. I, okay, I think I read something about it. Like, the, the AI in Halo is supposed to be designed to, like, expire? Oh, okay. Cortana, you're the one that told me to not jump into the coolant. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Uh, where's that root that had the overshield? <laughs> Wait, that was Cortana! I mean, they literally based <laughs> its voice on her. Basically, is Cortana's little sister? Heck yeah. Let me just, uh, let me just, let me just sneak my way in through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Whoa. Hello? I guess coolant ain't so bad. Do you have a sniper this this flood? No. It's alright. Let's get out of here and find another way back aboard the ship. This is cool though. Look, it's really just leaking. I want a shotgun. Give me shotgun. Oh, this is bad. Ooh. <laughs> he just went flying into space. Bullet physics. What are they? AI's breaking down. Yeah, AI can go senile. I think I get the idea, because, like, well, every sci-fi movie ever about AI has the AI 
like trying to take over. So they tried the program in the failsafe where the AI goes rampant or something, but it, instead it creates the effect where the AI goes crazy. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know if the programmers thought that one out. The programmers of the year 2550 whatever. I fell into the Nickelodeon slide. Be careful, that's copyright. You know what? I don't need to be part of this fight. I'll let them do what they want to do. You gotta pick your battles, right? You can pick your battles, and you can pick your nose. But never pick your nose in the middle of a battle, or else you will get shot. my hiding place. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm waiting it out. Ow. This was a bad idea. You think the concept of rampancy is good, but why it have to be Cortana? They could introduce another AI. I think it had to be Cortana because he needed something to shake up the relationship between Master Chief and Cortana. You need to see what Master Chief is like when he doesn't have Cortana as the voice of reason. See how his problem solving strategy differs. And it's like, I've seen some clips of Halo Infinite and it really does make John's personality shine. The fact that I'm calling him John and not just Master Chief. Like, he's a person. He's always been a human, even though he's been a Spartan. Like, how does he feel about having to solve problems and come up with solutions? Turns out, not too dissimilar from Doom Guy. A little less rip and tear, and a little more actually to solve the problem. But yeah, it highlights the fact that he's a soldier. Always has been. He knows how to follow orders, and that's mostly it. Head this way, towards the ship's gravity. When though, someone's not giving him orders, he just... He, even he goes a little rampant. Understandably, he's possibly also angry that he can't just have his friend Cortana. I think it makes an interesting situation. It makes the story a little more personal, too. Like, if it was just some other AI that they introduced just to be crazy, then it didn't really... It doesn't really raise the stakes as much if you just want to kill the enemy then yeah sure go go shoot him up if it's cortana it's less about like destroy everything and more like is there a cure can we do anything it can we do something that's my thoughts on it feel free to disagree and i haven't played halo 4 and 5 so i don't know i don't know what 343 industries was trying to set up at the time but Halo Infinite in a vacuum, I think it's nice that like you don't have to get introduced to a new character. It's like, if you know Halo 1, 2, and 3, you, you, you know what, what's going on in Halo Infinite. Ow. Da, 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 da. Basically, ignore Halo 4 and 5, like character development or something? All right, I feel that. I didn't play Halo 4 or 5, so I can't really say whether or not. It is kind of meant to be a soft reboot. I actually thought it was straight up a reboot from like Halo 4 onward. Because all I knew about Halo Infinite is that it starts with Master Chief floating in space. And I thought it literally meant like, oh, like the end of Halo 3? Does that mean it just retcons 4 and 5? But no, like, he's literally floating in space after something that happened in Halo 5. Oh, okay. This little corridor, it's it's given me a it's given me a, a struggle. I'm throwing a grenade when I come up on it. 
to try to clear it, but the, the, the flood don't actually spawn until I get there. That's a problem. Oh, hey, oh. Imagine interest, getting introduced to the story just to be told, hey, I'm going crazy. I think that's why Halo 4 and 5, just speaking as someone from the outside, just knowing that the bad guys aren't the Covenant necessarily, that's what makes it a little less exciting. To know that like, yeah the big conflict from 3 is resolved, it makes sense that we're not fighting the stuff from 3, 2, or 1. But also it just doesn't feel like Halo. You're fighting a completely different threat. There are there are like Covenant aliens in Halo 4 and 5. You do fight them still, but it feels like they're just there out of necessity rather than being the enemy. Just, just, just looking at, again, I... From what I've seen, from what little I know. I'm gonna stay right here. Relatively safe. The flood, though, they gotta. I gotta keep moving. Once you encounter the flood in this game, it destroys any notion that you can just sit and let your shields recharge. Because the infection part will just keep eating at it. Gotta be more sneaky. I'm, I mean, that's the thing. The flood are always coming at me. It kinda doesn't matter if I'm being sneaky or not, something's gonna see me. Do people even play in the, the Halo Legendary mode? It just seems impossible. This is just heroic. Halo 4 was way. good, Halo 5 was bruh. Gravity lift. gravity lift, please. Lift me up, fam. Stop with the carrier forms! Gosh dang it! I saw a health pack. I could have just gone for it. That is just mean. Halo 5's issue for you, the ad campaign sold you on a different story and game. Uh... From what I hear, the main issue with Halo 5 was that it was actually a very well-made game that felt more like Call of Duty in space than anything Halo. I think that's the issue. What Halo Infinite does to make things feel more like Halo is that it... it brings back all the Covenant aliens. It gives them a reason to fight for the Covenant, the Covenant because they, they're, a, they're the banished. They're like a splinter group that still believes in what the Covenant believed, kinda. Towards the ship's gravity lift. So there is a story reason for them to still be around. More damage than I suspected. Oh, hunters. Coolant leakage rate is significant. The ship's reactor should already have gone critical. I can't say much about what they should or shouldn't have done. But I think I like it being a soft reboot. I know longtime fans are gonna have their opinions. And a lot of them will differ depending on whether you like the new direction or not. I'm not, you know, qualified to discuss that. But as someone who's been out of Halo since the end of Halo 3, it's a, it's a good way to win me back, I think. Oh yeah, I also heard Halo 5 had like a second main character. We should head this way, towards the ship's So you know, there's gonna be a little bit of the ride in effect there, huh? Like, oh why am I not playing this with the Master Chief? That's just it's just it's his game! The crash did more and they don't even do it in a fun way like ODST. Because it still is Master Chief's story, they're just telling it from somebody else's perspective. Ow. 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 We should head this way. I think Metal Gear Solid 2 did it right. Like, you're telling Solid Snake's story from the perspective of someone else. 
but it's still like focusing on Solid Snake. You get to see how he compares and contrasts to the character you're playing way. as. It's almost like a gravity. second person's perspective. From how I hear they did it in 5, it's just like, sometimes you're not playing as Master Chief. Is there a reason? No, you're just not Master Chief. Should head this way. Oh, okay. The ship's gravity Selling it as Halo 5 was the issue. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I can only really speculate from what I've read in reviews and whatnot. I've been I've been watching a lot of videos trying to catch up. But I can't honestly form an opinion until I've played the Crash game for myself. Disclaimer, everything I'm saying is just, like, what I hear from all the, the, the Halo YouTubers just talking about it. Tell you what, now that I'm looking at a lot of the other Halo games, I notice how small the Hunters are in this one. It's kind of funny. You see them in Halo 2 for the first time, and they just tower over you. Oh, hi. Whee! All right, okay, I gotta focus on one threat at a time. These Covenant are gonna take out the Flood for me. I just got to let them do it. Da, 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 da. More commentary than you can make on it. I just like doing research on games. I just like learning. I try to be like neutral on anything I haven't played though. Zakara says, old games are 100% better. You die in Halo 4's hill any day. I like the lore. It, it, okay, so gameplay aside, I think what 343 was trying to do with the lore was actually pretty cool. And this is me just like watching lore videos, so, you know, a little bias there probably. But like actually giving an explanation to what happened with the forerunners, uh, fleshing out how the flood work. Introducing like Spartan fours and whatnot, trying to have humanity build back. I think that's a cool direction, story-wise. Just like focusing on the aftermath of what happened in Halo 1, 2, 3. Not trying to replace them or anything like that. Oh, hello! Flood! In my face. They don't explain previous things in the game yet. That's what I heard. Uh, I think Halo Wars 2 has most of what I need to know, or what anybody needs to know about the Banished. The faction that you're fighting in Halo Infinite. I literally just don't know what happened in Halo 5, so. I was saying earlier about how I actually bought the, uh, some of the Halo novels. I'm gonna read them at some point. Maybe I should, like, read an, an excerpt on stream live. You guys think that'd be cool? I know people do it, like audiobook streams. I'm watching my health just dwindle. What is that? The computer's trying to do something. Question with reboots in a series. Hard or soft? Are there some you say aren't necessary? Well, that's the thing about reboots. They're trying... They don't, they're not trying to be necessary. They're trying to be something different. And they're trying to do it in a safe way by being like, Oh, hey, this doesn't replace the original. Like, in a way, it does replace the original, but like, the original's still there. Uh, Hitman games. They did... I will say some series rebooted many times. 
And I feel like that just feels like they're not very confident in their reboots. That's just them being like too safe because they don't want to lose too much money. I think my feeling on that is to have confidence in your story. Don't just say, oh, I've written myself into a hole. Time to just restart. It's the coward way out. Like, I think there are times when a reboot is a good way to go. But, you know, good writing can turn around, like, even the worst stories. If you don't have good writers, then that's a separate problem. Dramatic Halo reading, let's go. I could read The Flood. I could read uh, The Fall of Reach. I'm mostly interested in The Fall of Reach. So that I could directly compare it to Halo Reach the game. I see. So Halo 5 really just does not explain how Halo Infinite starts. That's kind of funny. Dramatic reading if it's not uh, restricted. I don't know the legal implications. I mean, I'm... It's not... It's not really transforming. It's like a cover of a song. And I'm the one performing it with the vocals. I know people do it, but I don't know, like, the legality of distributing it. I guess you'd have to look more into, like, the legality of making your own audiobooks. I kind of am just ignoring this whole conflict over here. Maybe I can make my shields recharge. Yes. Okay. Good. Toodaloo! Alright, okay. Need this. Sorry, let me borrow it for a second. Yeah, 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 this is working. This is working! Who cares about laws? Not Yellow Pikachu. Electric rats care not much about human governance. Alright, I'm out of here. Alright, go, go, go! Uh, whoa! Uh... I think, overall, my stance on reboots is... The industry as a whole is just too obsessed with continuing IPs instead of just trying new things. I don't blame them because, you know, if it's safe, it sells. And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to support new IPs that look good. And uh, whether they sell or not, and a global scale, whether or not it causes companies to make more of that thing. That's not something I can really control as an individual person, sadly enough. As much as I'd like to think I have control over that stuff, I just don't. are just really beefy overall. I have an assault rifle, but it just doesn't... It doesn't do that much. I want to try to pick up a shotgun off of one of these floods, but it ain't working. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I can read the game manuals without a problem. Now, I bet they technically have copyright ownership You and me, Elite. A temporary truce. A 
Okay, now stop that. See what you did? I think the thing is that there's no real legal precedent on, like, audiobook piracy, if that's a, a phrase, a thing that exists. Oh! Okay, I've got my, my plan down for the most part. Sneak my way through the coolant. Completely ignore this fight. Whee! Use the hunter to propel myself, apparently. Use this turret as a way to call the flood. Here we go, here we go. Distract him. It's working, it's working, it's working. These infection forms are annoying, but I do not dare take my finger off the trigger for a second. I know more combats are coming. They just keep coming back up! Okay, what are you doing? I like that flood. I'll name him Jeffrey. Hear you out. IOI doing a James Bond game, though. Who's IOI? Hitman series already James Bond-like enough. Is that the, the company that currently owns the rights to Hitman? I know it was Square Enix for a while, but then they sold off. I've always wanted to play the Hitman games. I mean, I like Metal Gear. You'd think it'd be up my alley. Don't tell me this is an infinite spawn. No, we're good. Woo. Korean girl group doing a James Bond game? I'm old fashioned. I, the only K pop group I know is, was it, Girls' Generation? G, 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 baby, 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 G, 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 baby, 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 baby. There's the gravity lift. I'm going. I'm going. That's our way back in. Hold your position under the lift. I do what you have to. Gosh dang. Give me that shotgun. I need it. I deserve it. Down in front! Oh man, this stage. Look, if anything, I feel like I'm gonna have an easier time than everything that preceded up until now. At least I'm on like the second stage out of three I'm playing tonight. I'm pretty. Oh my god, did checkpoint be over here still? Fine, it's okay. We've done this. We've done this before. It's possible. Whoa! Uh, IOI did the Hitman games. Square Enix dropped them in the middle of the trilogy. Nice. I think they are a success story in trying to do like season based game content. Because the gameplay is solid enough already that even without full content, it's still worth playing, worth buying. And instills enough confidence, wow. That the final product will be something good. Like early access, maybe that's what I'm working for. Like a success story in early access. Cause that's how they released a lot of their, all the, basically the new game. Ready. 
How are you? Oh my god, the elite is still in there. All right, this is it. I'm just gonna hold the left trigger. IO interactive. Okay. So oh, why you come here often? Excess, access, success. Suck. Oh, wow. Ah, wow. Ah, oh, yeah. Can I get a ho oh, yeah? Oh yeah! Ha ha ha! All right, I want the shotgun. Can I have the shotgun? I would. I would like gun. Yes, please. Thank you. All right. So what are we talking about? Jump, hit man. There are some games that design that define a genre so hard that it's hard to imagine any other game like it that isn't exactly like it. Like when you think Battle Royale, you think it has to do things exactly like PUBG and, and Fortnite. But maybe it's just, you know, a, a game that has a big battlefield. Take this nice and slow. Oh geez, this isn't nice and slow. This is terrible. This is terrible and absolutely There's the gravity overwhelming. It's still Overshield. That's our way back in. If I could just if I could just get in this banshee, things would be alright. Oh, they're spawning. If I Oh, now there's a checkpoint here. I don't understand this game's checkpoint system. Sometimes it checkpoints me, sometimes it doesn't. Even though I've made it this far before. Man, they basically made me do this entire area again. Yeah, let's, let's head this way. But there's gonna be floods spawning everywhere anyway. Alright, Anakin, I have the high ground. Yes, I would like to use this area if, if I may. Oh! It's the lift, gravity lift waiting room. Population one Master Chief. Let my shield do all the work! Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. I, I got dropped because Square wanted to do the, uh, wanted them to do episodically. They got back in from That's Warner Bros. Way, and then they stopped being episodic. I see. I don't know. I thought it was working just fine. The thing is, Square Enix didn't see enough profit, even though the games were successful at being episodic. I don't know what they thought. Like, they expected the game to do like millions and millions of profit, even though it wasn't even fully out. Uh, maybe what they thought is like, even though the game is not complete, people would still buy it as if it was complete. I can't pretend to know what goes on in the minds of these game company business people. But one thing's for certain. I tend to enjoy games and business decisions from companies that try to think like gamers. You know, from like Iwata era Nintendo and Sega, especially like the Yakuza games and Super Monkey Ball games. Companies that focus on just making good and unique games, not just whatever makes the most money, whatever monetizes the most. There's the gravity lift. Sometimes it's like a schism between the dev team and the business team. That's our way back in. 
Like Halo Infinite's a good example itself. The gameplay looks fun and fantastic, and they pulled in a lot of good people to work on it, from like the music to the, the writing. But at the same time, the whole multiplayer progression stuff has caused such a division between the fan base that like I heard they had to shut down the, the Halo subreddit because it got so toxic. Oh no, 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 no. We live in an interesting age of video games because yet yeah, indie games Indie games have so much quality now, and you can do so much with a single person's budget. Even, I think, big companies should be making use of, like, Unreal Engine. A lot of Halo Infinite's development problems are from the fact that they made their own engine, Slip Space. But uh, things seem to be okay after they spent an entire year just working through it. Toxicity in my game community? Wow, that was easy. We should be able to get into the ship's control room from here. Oh, I have, I have, I have trauma from this area. As long as no invisible elites show up with swords, I'm okay. Check it out. We're back up in here. Word of mouth being episodic uh, hurt the games. The Covenant battle net is a okay. mess. I can't access the ship's schematics. My records indicate that a shuttle bay should be here. Well, that ain't it, Cortana. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna navigate manually. Look now the that course. the flood are gathering bodies here. Now that is horrifying. I want to head to the corners though. They got like stuff. They got goodies up in there. It's like a Halloween basket. I'm going. Ow. There's an overshield. Health pack. Worth it. So, I know what the Flood are doing, and I love that the story is calling attention to it. They're, 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 they're accumulating dead bodies. Like, even though they can't infect them, they still have a use for them. What scares me is that what their use is. Don't worry. We'll see firsthand. Oh, but do worry, though. Worry as much as you possibly can. I'm gonna turn all graphics on because you know this. Look, we've been here before. Dad, this looks like a different game entirely. I was talking about how the atmosphere is just different in old graphics. It, I think the Covenant areas look a lot more alien, like this, because the areas are a little more utilitarian. They're not just like future alien area future technology area. Could have been made by humans in the future. Could have been aliens. No, no, no. Here, it's distinctly alien. Could be the bright colors. I'm not sure. I got a checkpoint, so I'm assuming I'm heading the right way. Look at how large this shotgun looks. Looks chonky. Right, it's welcome. Old graphics were amazing by 2001 standards. They were, absolutely. I still think this looks good, actually. It holds up. The Xbox was a wondrous console for its time. Like, coming off of the N64, 
and I guess even Dreamcast and GameCube. I don't remember any game with areas this huge on any other console. Xbox was so powerful for the time. It had the benefit of releasing a lot later than the other competitors, that's for sure. Oh jeez, any open doors? Gonna have to find another way around. Did I really- I think I really just went back to the starting area. Cool. In my defense, I- <laughs> I didn't recognize it because I was going in old graphics mode. What's up, floodies? The jarring change. That's for sure. Ow. That is a funny sound effect for the- for the carriers. They really just pop like a balloon. Whoa, whoa, hold on there. Whoa, easy buddy. Take that shotgun ammo, thank you. This is first playthrough. I, uh, I've played through Halo before. A long time ago. I don't remember much, but I have. Wah! I have played it. Ew! That flood's just nomming on my booty. Rude. Oh. Oh, did the game really just checkpoint me coming back to the first room? I do not know how the checkpoints work in this game. That was a stock sound effect. Listen. Rise on grew up Nintendo. Same here. Got a PS1 uh, Genesis in the garage sale after moving out. Very nice. I'm 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 glad that I collected most of my retro console stuff before they got super expensive. I don't know how much a Dreamcast goes for now, but I remember getting a Dreamcast plus Shenmue plus Jet Set Radio plus you know basically all the the games that you'd want for Dreamcast, all for uh, like sixty bucks. Good hacking deal at the time. It was a Model Zero too, so I could play uh, backups. You have a pistol. I want that. Uh, there's just so much going on. Can I get in this ghost? Does it operate? No, it doesn't. Uh, how did PS2 compare? PS2 was actually the least powerful console of this generation. Uh, besides Dreamcast. Dreamcast's major flaw is that it came out, like, so early. It was still the 90s when the Dreamcast came out, so its power is more comparable to the N64 than anything. But, it had some great games. Uh... PS2's main advantage was that it had a DVD player at a time where, you know, people were buying DVD players for their house. And because it cost as much to buy a DVD player as it did to buy a PS2, people just bought the PS2 that weren't even, like, gamers at the time. I went in a circle, didn't I? The only thing that's guiding me right now is that waypoint. I'm thinking this is the right way. Time to finish the fight. Again. Got that right, Squidgy. Finish the first fight. Then we can continue on to some other fights. Like Halo 2 and Halo 3 and Halo Infinite. But mostly Halo Infinite. Because I'm not playing Halo 2 and 3 on stream. Here we go. Getting closer. Two thousand one, the time we had four consoles on the market. Hey, you know what? There was the Ouya. <laughs> uh, I try not to remember the Ouya. <laughs> Where did that elite come from? He's just trying to join me. Oh God! Checkpoints here. Ah <laughs> The little infection forms are making that sound. They're just shy guys. 
Health pack. I don't need it, but I'll keep it in mind. Now I need it. Whoa! You don't like to remember that one either. I kickstarted the Ouya. Like $100 for a console, what could go wrong, right? It was a little Android console. You know, before the Nintendo Switch was a glimmer in Iwata's eye. It promised to be like, oh, it's not just play Android games on a TV. It's like an actual console, but it's cheap. They just messed up so much about it. It was really sad. Like, I thought, if nothing else, it would be a neat, like, way to get a Bluetooth controller that I could use for the PC. The Ouya controller sucked butt. The buttons were all really, like, mushy. Not mushy, like, really hard to press. Uh, they kept getting stuck inside the faceplate of the thing. The games, of course, were all just Android games, because nobody would make games specifically for the thing. I know when I drop down there, there's a carrier form, but it was behind me. Die. And, uh, yeah, we well, didn't do too good, but we got some good games out of it. You know, if there wasn't Ouya, there probably wouldn't have been the game Towerfall. If there wasn't the game Towerfall, then that company wouldn't have gone on to make the game Celeste. And Celeste was the very first game I streamed on my stream. Things would be very different without the Ouya. Like, I'd probably still be streaming. God! Alright. Alright. Okay. I don't know if it's worth it to, like, clear a room of flood, because it feels like they just come forever. But it feels useless. It feels futile. Those full looking Pikmin. I kinda. I don't know what Pikmin your Captain Olimar has encountered today, but I wouldn't be pulling these out of the ground. Olimar is so lucky that the Pikmin were friendly. If they were the Flood, though, his home planet would be screwed. It'd be a good thing that he'd be stranded. So my main issue with the Flood is that they keep... They keep ganging up on me. I think they spawn behind me. So no matter where I go, more and more keep coming. How do I want to handle this? If Ouya had actually been successful, I could have said I had a stake in it. I guess. I just wanted a console to play games. On the plus side, I think the world of Android gaming has been better than it ever has been. I don't know, I can't get excited for phone games. When I was in college and smartphones were just starting to become a thing, it felt like the most amazing thing to me. Because back then, you could only play like the games that were pre-installed on your phone. Or if you had one of those cool phones, like the N-Gage. Or one of those games that one of those phones that had like Java support. Then you could end up playing some special stuff. There was like a Metal Gear Solid mobile game where you could take a picture with the phone camera and then it would become the camouflage for Snake. I don't know if that game is still playable anywhere. Preservation, not very good on those. 
think he had to have like a Motorola Razor or something. What? I'm as careful as can be, and I still, I still get punished for it. I would love a stake in it. Let's take this. Wait, is this an actual checkpoint? This doesn't look like the area I was in before. No, it is. Never mind. But I will say, there are some awesome games that are on mobile, like the Dragon Quest series. Dragon Quest uh, 1 through 8 are all on Android and iOS. And some of them are like the best versions of the games. I think 4, 5, and 6. They're just direct ports of the DS versions, which people already love, but they also have like faster text and some other quality of life. Good stuff. Just wish there was a little bit better like controller support. Don't get away from me. Get away from me, you squids. I'm not playing your squid game. Ooh, that one did a little flip. Unfortunately, this is not the X game, so uh, I rate that one 0 out of 10. I'm going to throw a grenade down here. Haha, <laughs> see that? It popped something. I'm not taking any chances. I don't have any more grenades. I'm taking chances. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dragon Quest 8 on mobile? It is. It's a port of the PS2 version, I think. Uh, honestly, either just play the PS2 version or the 3DS version. The mobile one is, it kind of sucks. They they don't have any voice acting. And like the controls are kind of bad. It's not a great version of the game. I mean, if it's the only one you can play, I mean, go for it. But I wouldn't recommend it. I almost feel complimented that the grunt called me unstoppable. Because Lord knows I've been stopping all night. Ryzen doesn't have controller attachments. You probably want because you're a console guy. Uh, yeah. Yep. Times when I was a college kid, just wide eyed, bushy tailed. Excited for what games on phones could be. Long past. I remember the days of like Fruit Ninja being a new thing. Oh, good checkpoint. Thank you. Ow. Good checkpoint. Low health, low shield. Fruit Ninja! I never knew that Fruit Ninja was made by the same people that made a uh, uh, Jetpack Joyride. It makes sense though. They just know how to make addictive mobile games. I hear you. I have headphones. Oh, thank you. Look, I'm backtracking just because I don't want the enemies to come up from behind me. This definitely is a struggles. Fruit Ninja getting a crazy crossover with what? But yeah, Fruit Ninja is still definitely a game. And you know what's kind of sad? I had to buy it again, even though I bought it on my iPhone 4 way back when. Because before that, Apple didn't tie your app purchases to your account. They tied it to your device. So if you accidentally deleted it, you'd have to pay to download it again. That is such BS. I'm glad they changed it, but like... 
I wish I knew that before I deleted it. Keys! He's delirious. In pain, we have to find him. Well, I know why. It's not a happy reason. Ow. We have to find him. Immediately dies. Best mobile game. You know, the more time goes on, the more I tend to believe that. There's also this other mobile game that I really liked back in the day. It was called Whale Trail. And it was like this... It was about this little whale that flew through the clouds and it farted rainbow bubbles as it flew. And it, it, the whole time it played this song like, I'm on a whale trail. I redownloaded that. I redownloaded that one recently. It's still available. It's still there. It's still a game. Ow iPhone turns 15 next year. Oh, does it? I know the iPod just recently had its 20th anniversary. That's also wild. I have a second gen iPod. I bought it from, uh, I bought it from eBay, but it was from uh, an estate sale. Got a pretty good, pretty good deal on it. Not the best, but, oh, geez. Ow. Da, 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 da. You had iPod Touch first gen. I'm sad that the iPod Touch isn't a thing anymore. But at this point, you just buy a used iPhone and it's better than any iPod Touch, so I understand why. I literally bought a used iPhone X <laughs> to do to be my iPod Touch. I also bought it because there's a thing you can do with VTube Studio and iPhones. I don't normally have an iPhone, and it's just the cheapest model I could get that works with it. It's cool. Still a work in progress, but it's gonna be awesome when I get it working. Ow. Have I ever seen the thirsty grunt in this game? I talked about it yesterday. Can't wait to get to that front nipple! Ow! I worked at the big car and they thirst! Was it this game? For some reason, I always thought it was Halo ODST or something. Don't know why they made the iPod Touch. Came out the same year as the phone. They th they wanted to ease people into it. Because, like, even if people were convinced that, Oh, I don't need a new phone. My current phone is fine. But I would like to have a new iPod. Like, that's the that's kind of been Apple's modus operandi forever. They want you to get into the Apple ecosystem. Hey! Oh, that grunt was smart. Threw the grenade out before I even got there. I like the sound of the shell hitting the ground. Very hollow. Ugh. It's on the last level. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I've, I'm going to have time for that because, look, Man, it's almost midnight. Not even done with this level. I know the last level doesn't take too long, but I would like to finish this game tonight. But yeah, Apple just wants you on their system. So that next time you want a phone, you consider like, Oh man, I already bought all these apps on my iPod Touch. I guess I might as well buy an iPhone so I can keep them. That's what they want you to think. That's what they want you to do. Finally, like I made it. We should be able to reach the control room from the third level. So this is exactly what I was talking about. They reuse levels so often. He's Keys. In pain. We have to find it. This time I won't immediately die. I'll die after a five seconds. What is Minoka eyes from? I don't know. It just appeared one day. D d d don't ask me. <laughs> That's our latest meme. That's Preston, the Preston Digitator from Dragon Quest V. Always trying to butt himself into everything I do. I didn't ask for him to join my party, he just asserted himself. Gosh, dang it. Do 
could bought a Windows phone to use an iPod. It could use mini SD cards, but the UI was poo. You'd think they'd build it off of like the Zoom or something, right? Gotta move forward. Gotta keep going. What I want to do is force my way through before the flood come up behind me. Oh no. You want the Halo 3 Zune? How much does that go for on eBay? I've been on a little bit of a music player collection kick. Mostly just old iPods. Uh, I was recommended this YouTube channel called Dank Pods about a year ago. And yeah, no, it got me into collecting. Where did you even come from? I threw out that grenade specifically to catch an elite, and he just spawned from the explosion. He's delirious. In pain, we have to find him. That's what Master Chief does anytime his shield is depleted. Just sit in the corner and. Oh, more hunters. Hey, hey, no, hey, no. I mean, I mean, no harm. Oh! <laughs> Gotta look. I would like to know. Halo 3 Zoom. The Zoom was a good audio player, honestly. It just required Windows software that kind of sucked. That's the one thing about Apple's, you know, mantra that makes sense to me. Like, if things just work, then sure, why not? Charge what you want for it. Charge for that convenience. And then other people have a choice to use your stuff or not. Gig Nano. Dang Pods is this YouTube channel where they were. It's it, it's from this Australian dude who reviews old iPods, repairs them, and then reviews like really weird old tech stuff, like a SpongeBob webcam that looks like SpongeBob's eyeball. Who thought that was a good idea? Because that just gives you nightmares. I've collected almost every model of regular iPod, thanks thanks to him, so. It's a nice little hobby, and you know what? I miss standalone MP3 players. Just having a device that all it does is it listens to music. Because when you listen to music on your phone, one, it takes up space, or two, it, you have to pay for a subscription. I just like the days where you owned your music, you know? I'm getting lost. Where am I going? Is this even a- is this a dead end? Jeez, dude. You know what, I'm gonna go to new graphics mode, because at least this mode tells you whether a door is open or not. Except I'm lost again. I'm gonna have the iPod gauntlet perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Welcome back, Risk Company. go up there. What's the best way to do that? I think it's... Yeah, jumping down here was a mistake, actually. I should have stayed up there.
Oh, does it... Are the doors... I guess there's some indicator that doors are open even on the old graphics, but the new one makes it a little more clear. I... I, I don't like the repeated. Because it feels like I'm just like... Angry about it, but I'm not. I'm colorblind, so... It's not even severe colorblindness. I can still guess what colors or things are, but... If game design language is supposed to be like, Oh, notice that these things are different. I don't immediately notice that all the time. Control room, it's right there. They're red when closed, white when open. Oh. It's easier to notice on new graphics because it's like a bright light in the middle. I got my trusty weapons. The other thing about having a standalone music player is that, like, no one can interrupt you. Like, you don't have to turn your phone to do not disturb or anything like that. You just put your earphones in, you listen to the music, put your wired earphones in that you don't have to charge or anything like that. And you just listen. You can shuffle your music. You can, you can see what the artist album name is. That's all you need. It is annoying to manually put music on stuff, but even if I didn't do that with an actual iPod, I'd still be putting music on my phone. I, I don't subscribe to Spotify or anything like that. Because most of the music I listen to is video game music that historically wasn't on Spotify. I know it's all on there now, but when Spotify first came out, I'm like, nothing I listen to is on here. So I just never got into it. Nowadays, it's all on there, but I think some stuff is still missing from licensing. I don't know if the Persona soundtrack is on there. I don't know if, uh, I don't know, River City Girls soundtrack. Captain Keys. The captain, his vitals are fading. Please, Chief, hurry. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. You try to hurry without a sprint button. Oh, come on, man. This game makes me afraid to turn any corner because six flood soldiers might be around it. Chicken fueled solely by colorblind rage. Every time, every time. I do also have to be careful about like saying that around new people because it inev inevitably leads to the question, hey, have you, have you seen those colorblind fixing glasses? Have you tried those? I have not, I do not want to. That is the short answer, and I do not care to give the long answer anymore. And it makes me sound angry about it because because it's a short answer, but really I just don't want to spend time talking about it. Because I've done so so many times on stream already. It takes so much to pop the popcorn. Right, you do not want to pick this fight right now. I'm angry about colorblindness. Now I'm talking about not talking about it. See, it's unavoidable. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Put music on your phone too. Nice. Totally legally purchased music, right? Actually, yes. Bandcamp is a fantastic source of music for me right now because it's like independent artists. Oh god Let me just finish my story It's independent artists directly supporting them pay what you want And it's just good good for the artists Windows media player Be used before Someone hooked that big iPod to their car. You wanted that set up all right, so I'll take a look at this thing. This thing. 
was Captain Keys. No human oh, life what have they done? Captain. The captain, he's one of them. Jacob. We can't let the flick get off his ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. And then punch his skull open and grab his neural chip. Great way to respect your dead friend and commander, Mr. Chief. It's done. But it had to be her. done. We should go. You, you just stuck that in. Oh we God. Need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. <laughs> this kind of looks dumb in old graphics, honestly. Oh God, they're coming. Oh God, they're coming. Oh God, no. Oh God, no. I gotta get out of here. Um. So yeah. Okay. Uh. That thing is called a Proto Grave Mind. And basically, the Flood are using him as like a, a database because they, they recognize that he had important information in his brain. When you get infected by the Flood, your mind is uploaded to their hive mind. So in order to not risk him dying, they did not make him a fighting combat form. They just made him a database, basically. A Grave Mind. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. So... There's, I don't know if it's a novel or a, a movie or something, but I saw a YouTube video about like the canonical events that happened during this level. This whole time, Captain Keys has been fighting back against the Flood Hive Mind. They're probing his mind for information, basically interrogating him. But he wasn't giving up. Oh, this is a dead end. This was a bad idea. Oh, it bounced on the door. We need to get back to the pillar. Basically, it went something Go back like to the this. Bay and find a ride. Captain Keys, being a decorated military veteran, he is. When he, we saw him last. He was in that one weapons cache area, being attacked by the flood. What we didn't know is that he was conscious and awake during this whole level up until now. Room. Let's go back to the shuttle. He was bay communicating with us. He was still aware. But it was already too late for him. He was already part of the flood hive mind. I'm stuck. We need to get back to the pillar of autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and, and find a ride. Whatever it is, the noddle just the novel like just wrote out his final moments in such a depressing way. He woke up not sure where he was. But knowing that if he was captured, if this was the Covenant's doing, then you do the standard military thing. You give no information. You don't say anything but your name, your rank, your ID number. And that's all you tell them. Keys, Jacob, Captain, ID number 7053125. G, Keys, Jacob, Captain, ID number... Keys, Jacob, Captain. Just instinct from military training. We need to get back to the Pillar but of Autumn. Let's slowly as he came to, find a ride. he realized this wasn't Covenant. This was something. Something probing his mind directly. And it was way worse than the Covenant. He's, he didn't he didn't have the 343 guilty to spark to tell him how dangerous the flood the was. He doesn't know anything ride. other than something is trying to get valuable knowledge out of him. And he knew the most important thing to save was the location of Earth. Whatever this thing was, he couldn't let them get to Earth. That's what they wanted. They wanted to get out. They wanted to escape the Halo ring. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Shields recharge. Now, please. This whole level, Keys was fighting with all his sanity in mind to keep humanity itself safe. That man deserves everything. He's a good soldier, he's a good captain, a good leader. He was the best. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the Have I watched the terminal? No, I have not. I haven't found the terminal in this level. Is that what this is from? I just saw the YouTube video from uh, Hidden Xperia, but if that's it, that does make sense. 
The terminals in this game have given like a little bit of extra lore. You know, if I were a terminal, I would be like somewhere down here. Nope. All right, I'm not gonna go find it. Uh, I'm just gonna focus on finishing this game because I want to finish it tonight. Squidgy Bump's gotta go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Uh, Let's go back sleepy to the time, Nido. Have a good night, ride. Squidgy. Hope you enjoyed my uh, lifeless body flailing about. Boy! That's the most amusing part <laughs> of this game, the seeing the physics of your dead body. Find a ride. Ooh, chain reaction. I'm stuck. I'm dead. Ow! We need to get Gravemind cutscene in Halo 2 Universe is one of your favorite scenes of all Halo. And find a ride. Oh, yeah. I'm not even... Yeah, I'm not even talking about what happens in Halo 2, but... Everything in this game sets it up in a way that you'd never expect from a game that... You know, at the time, didn't have a sequel planned. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's all right, go okay. Back to the I'm gonna find a ride. stall. I'm gonna let the Covenant deal with the Flood. They can just, you know, duke it out. Maybe this is a terminal. Oh, it is! Oh, we're gonna see that happen? Yeah, it doesn't look like the terminals I've seen before, so I wasn't sure. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm watching this. I skipped every other one, but... I forgot something. My name. I forgot. Oh, uh, Keys. Jacob. Captain. Service number 01928-19912-JK. I'm watching the Tom Hanks movie. Let's go. What is that noise? What is that damn noise? Where am I? Captain. Salute. Salute your captain. Manuka Hoy in the chat. He remembers fighting the flood, but he can't. He can't remember their faces. He knows he's fighting something. Covenant captured me, didn't they? I, I, can't, I can't remember. Keys, Jacob. This will never work, you covenant bastards! I'll never lead you to Earth! And there's the first mistake. Jacob. Thinking about Earth. Captain. The memories, they're being forced into his mind. Service number 01928. Something is looking at them. Viewing them. Australia. Dash JK. Oh, God. You don't want Earth. You want everything. Get out of my head. Jesus, dude. Miranda, His daughter. You? She's in the second game. Forget everything. No, please. Don't let me forget. Oh, that's so sad. Jacob. Captain. Service. Oh, hello. No more what you were. Memories. Emotions. All is now ours. <sighs> Keys. But he's still fighting. Captain. Captain. Service number 01928-19912-JK. You will not have me. We already do. Oh, dude. Maybe I should have been watching the other terminals. 
I mean, but they all had Guilty Spark in it, so I, I didn't want to watch them. Dude, I was just watching a movie while the, the Covenant of the Flood duked it out. <laughs> That's funny. And the Flood are cool. I mean, I don't want them to ever happen in real life, but they're cool. Oh, they, they've come into me. Probably because I threw that grenade. I think they're done. Look at that AI. It's trying to hide. Last moments of Dr. Dr. <laughs> Captain Jacob Keys. Dr. Captain D Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Hi, my name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. What's your name? Oh man, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I've recently found out that people are unaware of that joke's context. And I... Man, it's a generational thing. It makes me feel old. Because apparently some people don't get it. Best salute. There's another interesting terminal that's never been explained. In this level or in another level, Nova? I'm curious. I'm curious about the lore. I'm... You know... My minor gripes with the art aesthetic aside... This game had a lot of effort put into it. Whether that's more on 343 or the other studios that worked on this. It's a good, it's a good, like, update. And it plays like originally, it plays exactly like the original game. Helps that the old game is just running underneath it. Oh, really? Please tell me there's a checkpoint after the, cool, okay. After the, the, the keys room. Okay, I'm gonna do a little lag test. Uh, I'm gonna say a number and then the moment that you guys hear it, I want you to type it in the chat. It's just gonna be a single digit number. All right, ready? Uh, the number is eight. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. We're still good. Sometimes I'm worried because lately Twitch has been lagging out. The other day, uh, Drew ended up in it with a stream where his lag was on the scale of literal minutes. It was at a point where, like, Perfect. after Rather we repeated we'll his number, he's off. like, oh god, I said that, like, three minutes ago. And it got even worse. It got even worse by the end of the night. I gotta get a Banshee. How do I safely drop down? I suppose that's safe enough. Oh, no! I betrayed the theme music. I feel so bad. Hey. Why is everyone typing eight? So at least I know the lag isn't on the... Okay, I'm going. Whee! Bye-bye! Adios, amigo! <laughs> nice one, Ryzone. Ninbat was also getting hit by the delay. Yeah, that's just the thing I like to do the test. Ladies and gentlemen, last level of the game. The Ma. Mama! Now this will be a good way to finish it off. So we're doing it. We've made it back to the Pillar of Autumn. We're gonna use its warp drive to destroy Halo. And hopefully, all oh, this flood nonsense will be left behind. Right? Right? Certainly not other games that have the flood or the covenant or oh my god slime. That's right, we'll need all the experience we can get. It looks so beautiful! Pillar of Autumn. Honestly, a cool spaceship. It looks like a big old slug. This thing is falling apart! It'll hold. We're I mean, it, 
We'll make it. <laughs> John! You did that on purpose, didn't you? Looks like Launchpad McQuack was here. It is John. He is the Launchpad McQuack. So, surprise! The last level of the game? It's the very first level of the game, but now things are different. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. A little worse for wear, but surprisingly intact, huh? How do I turn on the flashlight? There you go. Whoa! Only like four places in the game where you turn on the flashlight. Maybe three. Check it out. This... It's all mangled and distorted in the old graphics because we crash landed, but the new one is just... A dead end. Some interesting changes. I don't know if it's for a... Uh... Oh, Sentinels are here? Any particular reason, but... Still, though, this is... Nostalgic. Not just because of this game, but... Like, I'm nostalgic for the first level of this game. Things were so, so, so much simpler back then. We weren't trying to save the universe. We were just trying to get the Covenant off our dang ship. Escaping from Reach and all that. Captain's neural implants. They're in my head now. I'm the captain now. Uh, there's a t there's a terminal on silent cartographer about a mysterious ship sending a beacon not human covenant Never been told the origin. Uh, you know, it was probably meant to tie into Halo 4 at the time, but then they went like a different route with it Like trying to hint at maybe like forerunners something like that I'm I'm a little sad that the Halo post-3 games are suffering a little bit from, like, new Star Wars syndrome, where there wasn't a whole complete plan at the time. Luckily enough, it, it does seem that 343 did have a plan, but whatever it is, Halo Infinite's just going some completely different direction with it. For the better, it seems, thankfully. Oh god, no, 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 no. At least they're implants, not brain cells, I guess. I would have liked them for the be brain cells. I don't got enough for myself. I would like to borrow some. That Captain Key's got a good brain. Halo Infinite today. It is midnight right now. Happy Halo Infinite release day, everybody. Oh, check this out. There's this cool, like, little ajar door. Actually, they forgot to model the floor correctly. Infinite. Infinite! Rise zones ahead by two hours. At least Halo Infinite's like a global release. I'll be able to play it as soon as 10 a.m. my time, but I have work at that moment, so I'm just gonna load the game up. Sadly, there's no preload available. I don't know what people are told. I, like, probably Microsoft is afraid of the game leaking out, which is fair. Aw, oh, jeez. How many times must I blow up? I'm feeling like Tom Hanks, Groundhog Day. That was Tom Hanks, that was Bill Murray. Now this is where we at. Oh, I had to go that way. I just want to go back to the mess hall. I want to go back to the bridge. 
This is new music. I haven't heard this in the game yet, I think. The ship doesn't even look Forerunner. Oh, curious. Maybe they're leaving themselves an out for like, just going somewhere completely different in the story of Halo. That ship doesn't look Forerunner. And maybe they won't do anything with it yet, but they're just like keeping it in their back pocket. Oh, there's hunters? Why? Not me, not me! Fight the flood! Or die. Here we go, mess hall. Let's get a good old cheeseburger. I don't know what kind of food space marines eat in their space mess halls. What kind of food you'd have to take on an interstellar journey. Like sure, people have invented or discovered like hyper space travel. They call it slip space in Halo. What's neat and sci-fi about it is that it doesn't, it's not instant. You go through a portal, but it's not like you just come out the other side instantly. You, you can be in slip space for literal months. That's why people have to like cryo sleep. That's why Master Chief is frozen in the beginning of the game. Space Wendy's. You think they got space DoorDash? They got it. They better tip real well. You can watch the terminal in the extras. I see. I see. They've been talking about Infinite for a long time. You didn't buy Infinite. Oh, the multiplayer should be at least. I am just not going to touch the multiplayer progression at all. Like, I... I do not support that style of monetization. Never have. I like, cool, it's cosmetics. I don't need it. It's a first-person game. I'm not going to see myself all that often. Kind of like dipping my toes in the water. Is it, is it safe? Is it safe to go out yet? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop it. In Halo 2, the hunters get smarter. If you approach them from the back, they'll try to like. Whip around and smack you. What the? Oh, geez. Oh, no, 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 no! You hope the flood appears in infinite? I hope so, too. Like, if they've got, like... If they really are throwing back to Halo 1 with all the classic enemy, like, variations, they gotta have flood. I mean, as much trouble as they're giving me right now, it's still an aspect of the game play loop that is very deliberate. Up until the flood appear, you have enemies that are very susceptible to melee. They have ranks and you can easily like buy yourself time by killing the elite first, all that stuff. And then the flood throw a hinge in everything because they just spawn forever. And just constantly eat at your shield. You just stop being able to play the game like you have been. Make it recontextualizes everything. That's the that's the key word. Anytime I talk about game design, the, bridge. the strongest thing you can do is recontextualize. Oh God, no! I love Master Chief's death sounds. Ah! Pizza Planet! There really are Pizza Planet locations. I mean, I don't doubt that there's a real-life restaurant called Pizza Planet. Does it have anything to do with the Toy Story, though? Oh, come on. That, that, that elite has a good throwing arm. I have grenades, too. They're just human grenades. Stop it! 
just spam grenades because there's a bunch on the floor here. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. Oh really? I'm at the bridge already? This is it, I guess. Let me KP hoping for a certain Over something. A days and look what happens. This won't take long. How many days has it been since the beginning of the game? Like two? <laughs> I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Ah, uh, no. no. Him. That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our lost time. Human history is Put up a firewall, Cortana. That guy doesn't deserve our internet. Look, just flood him with, like... The dark web. He'll be busy with that stuff. Oh, or he'll take one look at <laughs> humanity's depravity and he's like, you know what? I don't want to learn about <laughs> our successors anymore. <sighs> Preston Spark. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, I and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless. And at least I still have control over the comm channels. Is there a is boss fight? Throughout the ship, sentinels most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engines? Oh. Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why? <laughs> Master Chief, go on the brute force route. Chief, Sentinels. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't much, but he's got a personality. A funny one at that. Oh, Chief, yeah, jokester. Cool, cool. Final boss fight. Let's go. Well, not quite a boss, the ship but it's was something. Heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there. Head to the cryo chamber. We're going full circle. I'm going back to where I woke up. Oh, now it's flood. Now it's a lot of flood. There were flood. Now there's more. I just need an opening, dude. Go, 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 go. I can't dilly dally, nor can I shilly shally. Could say it's flooded. <laughs> Exclamation point joke. I think I. Yo, yo, this is exactly the area I was in before. This is it. This is it. Ah! Uh. Not even silly Sally. We'll say it. <laughs> Not even a grenade. All right. Let's go with plan G. G. For this is for Gunther. Now look at all that ammo. <laughs> There's a reason they say grenades rule the meta game in in Halo. They're just so effective. The way that shields are designed in these games. Just help in general. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've taken so long that the music stopped. The Sentinels are actually preoccupied with the flood. I'm mostly fine. Oh, now it's flood music. 
Oh, they explode. <laughs> I just little rocket. Rockets explode! Now, now, Woody, rockets don't necessarily explode. Missiles explode. Rockets just propel you. From this place I was born, in this place I will die. Sounds very religious. This really is Halo. Oh, that's bulletproof glass. No grenades. Please get out of my personal space. This entire planet, it's in space. Therefore, it is my personal space. And get off. You're not welcome here. Welcome to Earth. It's not Earth, but still. Welcome. E -e -e. Things were so, so simple. Back when the government, government just tried to catch me napping. Didn't want to push forward. Didn't want to lose my shield. Kind of sounds like Half-Life 2 sound effects. Get out of my face. Hey. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. What I was hoping would happen very soon I think it'll happen very soon. I just gotta get there. Is probably one of the most iconic moments of all of Halo. That I don't know whether it's the writing or the music or the, the enemy design or all of the above, but despite areas being reused, Halo has some of the most iconic moments in video game history. And the ending of this game, I'm just very, very excited for it. I'm not spoiling it for anybody who doesn't know. But it's a banger. Come on, come on. Health pack, thank you. Ah! Don't punch me! Punching is forbidden. Sure, whatever. Into the vents. Hi, Grunt. Bye, Grunt. What's up? I have no trifle with the. Uh, uh, this way. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. I think this is the right way. There's weapons. Ooh, I like this place. I like this place a lot. I find it funny that it took me so long to find a shotgun in this game. Hello? They have cloaking now? Ah, oh, shoot. Well, that's a possibility. Oh, I thought it was safe for just one golden moment. They're getting smarter. They're learning. They've infected enough covenant. I have to look real close. This is a dead end? Someone venting? Yeah, it's pretty sus in here. Oh. Groovy. I think this was a side area. I didn't have to be here.
that moment in first person shooters when you realize the right way is just looking at the path with the most bodies. Yeah, usually in these games, it's wherever the enemies are, just go that way. But when enemies are everywhere, well, yeah, no, that's a bit of an issue. They do show on the radar where enemy activity is. I'm gonna go get more rockets. You guys, you sentinels, just wait right there. That's what they've been doing these thousands of years, right? Just waiting. Here's a bit of lore that isn't elaborated on in this game. So I feel okay with saying it. Humanity actually has been to space before. This ain't our first rodeo. Apparently before the, the humans and the forerunners, they just lived along beside each other. But after a certain point, there was a war that was Honestly, just a big old misunderstanding. Involving the Flood and the Forerunners and the humans. And eventually, humans ended up resetting. Going back to ancient times and learning how to travel to space all over again. Something about them, like, encountering the Flood first. The, the foreigners didn't believe them. And by the time the foreigners realized it was too late, humans weren't trying to invade their space. They were just trying to get away. <laughs> trying to be refugees from the flood. Really sad. Oh man, what party happened here? I don't know, but they spilled all the red wine. Must be drunk already. We traveled so far in the future, time is reset. But there's like an actual reason for it involving like space gods. Okay, now where do I go? There's enemies. I'm going this way. So sad. Don't cry. Just think of that one kid from Final Fantasy X. He's just like, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't do it. It's a bad look. It's a bad look, Titus. You know what, Titus? Just don't talk. People don't like your voice. I like Titus' voice. Yeah, but people don't. You know, the internet. If one person on the internet is loud enough, they can define the internet's opinion of things. That works these days. And I hate it. I hate it. I ever watched the, Jet the Jetsons beat the Flintstones? I have! It's some wild lore that like, the Flintstones have just been living underneath the Jetsons this whole time. By the way, uh, George Jetson's birth is coming up soon. I think, I think he's supposed to be like born in 2022. <laughs> Fun fact. And people are starting to like celebrate it. I, I think I saw a post that's like, fun fact, this weekend George Jetson will be conceived. <laughs> Where am I going? This this was the cryo chamber. I shouldn't go this way, right? Or maybe I'm supposed to? Is this a different cryo chamber? No, this is where I came from. Birthday. birthday, happy birthday, George Jetson, August 2022. Yeah, no, he's gonna, he, he's getting conceived right now. Gotta make sure the future of the Jetson stays intact. Didn't they hate the voice because of the last scene? I mean, that's one re a lot. A lot of people just don't like James Arnold Taylor's voice. I think it's good, especially for like Ratchet. He sounds like a big old nerd. Much better than his original voice. Ratchet was like just a big old asshole in Ratchet and Clank 1. Because that's what you had, that's what you were if you were a protagonist back then. You were just this snarky, just teenager who hated authority. I am really glad they changed this character up. Okay, okay. If that's where I shouldn't go, then I should go this way. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a circle. All right, then not this way. Uh, I've been here already. Wait. No. Uh, not this way. Just keep going. I already, I already went to the armory though. Wasn't the armory dead? Engineering. That's where I need to go. I didn't see that earlier. Gosh dang. I knew I had to go to engineering. I just didn't see any signs. Hello? You're older than George Jetson, but yet still younger than him. Located. We're here. All right, y'all. Alert. The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only <laughs> remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. We're gonna Aaron, nuke Halo, I have baby. Access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. <laughs> shaft. Wow, we're doing some engineering work in here. Let's blow some shit up. Get out of here. Hate you. Trying to destroy the universe. I need to get up there. How to? Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. He is a highly trained professional. In a couple of decades, we'll have the world's tallest poles with globular buildings. Just far, far above the ground. Like Skyloft, but the future. That's how the Jetsons worked. No, 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 no! Ow. Man, what's the... I'd have to walk all the way back up. Tokyo under repairs in the wake of Akira's destruction. Now, are we talking about manga Akira or the, the movie Akira? Uh, there was a door here. Okay, let's go, let's go. I did watch the movie. And by goodness, it was beautiful. I love it. It's not exactly cyberpunk, but it's got like a proto-cyberpunk feel to it. Oh, the movie, okay. I heard that the manga is, like, actually so much more than what the movie shows. It does make sense, because there's a lot of relationships in that movie that just go lightning speed. Like, hey, I hate you. Oh, now we're friends. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic field surrounding the in English, Cortana. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room entrance. Go! Did it work? Cortana said grenade or rockets work. Oh, it was closed. No? This is, this is actually, <laughs> this is actually kind of cursed. I opened the vents, don't let me through. I swear I'm not sus. Seriously? Oh, come on, man. Engine room located, we're here. We watched Akira a few times over. All command not long after the first time. The, the only remaining option is to so it's such a shame that Cyberpunk 2077 that didn't turn out too to well. Don't worry, I have I've always to liked the, the themes of Cyberpunk in general. First, we need to pull back dystopian the future where like things aren't totally to gone to crap. It's just that you know, people work with what they got, no matter what era you live in. I think that's the most realistic. And also, future technology is awesome. Come on, come on! Here we go. 
Open. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a Yo. catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment surrounding the fusion station. Whoa. Use an explosive. I Why did all those sentinels just explode? We run out of explosives. There is an armory station located near the engine room entrance. Yup. Did it work? Oh, come on. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna use a frag grenade. It's gonna bounce. It's gonna make it. Go! Perfect. Yes, no? It's bugged? Is the game actually bugged? Analyzing. Fusion All right, okay. On the other three reactors, that should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion <laughs> of the engines. Just taking a pot shot at Guilty Spark. All right, we're doing it. This is what this game has instead of a boss battle. It's a little slow, but it's not bad. It's like I'm playing the beginning of Half Life One. Highly per trained professional, yes, Master Chief is. Professional scientist, no. Professional. Throw grenades at things, man. Yes. Go. I remember this. I remember this. Now. Oh no! Fall damage. My greatest enemy. Eight zero zero eight one three two. Guilty fart. More like. Yo, that flood had a little too much methane in it. I just don't like that there's like, like a little lip. Whoa, what? Where the grenade just gets stuck. I'm trying to be precise here. I'm also getting attacked by Flood. What's the deal with Guilty, whatever? So he's a little, like, robot AI tasked with helping whoever happens to come across Halo to reactivate it if necessary. Because if the Flood ever outbreak again, they need a way to... Activate this doomsday device that destroys all the sentient life in the universe. So, you know, it's already happened once. So you can't blame the people who invented it from wanting it to just be a backup option. If possible. Aw, oh, man! I'm saving the rockets in case I need them instead of the grenades. It's not working too well. And his deal is that... Humanity is supposedly the successor to the ancient race that built Halo. So he thinks, you know... Isn't that what we want? Don't we want to activate Halo again? Isn't this for the good of the universe? In true anime fashion, we're just gonna say, uh, hopefully there's another way than destroying everything. It's gotta go like all the way down the vent. Looks like it. Man, these things are just annoyingly too, sh too tall. Shut up, guilty. I don't know you. That's my purse. Did it work? Wow. 
I think it actually saved after I got the first one, so... I remember this being different. Like, I think I had to... throw grenades in while, like... doing something else. This is just a platforming puzzle. Destroy this! Destroy Preston? Sure. Did it work? We'll never know in this timeline. Seriously, I'm gonna try the rocket. Get out of my face, Flood. Seriously. Alright, alright, speedrun mode. We gotta do this fast. We gotta not fall off the crates. Ooh, first person platforming. I swear that had to be it and it wasn't it's so fiddly you think they would have play tested this you think they'd had me jump on boxes that like that don't like catch the master chief legs compilations of Mario trying to knock down the castle It's like I'm playing Angry Birds, but instead of a bird, I'm using just a tiny egg. You must surrender the construct. I don't even know if I have the construct. I think Cortana had it last, and she's an AI. Egg. egg. Super egg. Yes, that's how. All right, any time now. Open the vents. It worked. Yes. Yes. Rockets for the win! No? It didn't work. Come on, man. I don't even care that things are trying to attack me. There's health packs down there. Oh, it did work! Yes! Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Other side. Can I just, like, open multiple at once? No, just one. What happened? Did he close it again? Wow, what a butthole. Hey, hey, hey. I am trying something here. I'm gonna go grab a health pack real quick. Ah, uh, I was right there. There's just not good feedback, honestly. Shut up. All right, rockets worked last time. Sweet. You know what? I have enough rockets. Speed run! One last one. I think. I hope. I hope to goodness. One more fusion reactor to go. Please. Thank you. Ow. These sentinels are some... Scrafty fellas. Come on, come on, come on, just one rocket, just one rocket as a treat. Get shot. Now's your chance to get shot. By my big shot. Okay, to save the universe, I die. What's more with feeling? Oh, it's saved? It's saved before I got this one? My patience is wearing thin. The rockets are working fine now. <laughs> Ow. Assassin's Creed's got a civilization for humanity. I've heard about that. My doomsday. You never know. Yeah. Something I really liked is the idea that 
humans base their, base their mythology on things that actually happened. Like, using past future technology. Alright, alright, I'm in a good place. Heal up. That last reactor. I'm going. I'm going for it. You only hope the sacrifice was not in vain. All right, so I will say there is a secret ending for beating this game on legendary, and I'm not gonna get it because this is heroic. But you know that's what the power of YouTube is for, ain't it? It's only like a 20 second scene, so probably not worth me playing the whole thing over again just to show y'all. I won't have earned it, but that's fine. That's on me. I can live with that shame. So you guys don't have to. Go! That's it! That's it! Cool, Cortana. How do I get off the ship? At the top? The I just got down! That runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry. Uh, all right, okay, I'm going. All right, somebody count ex exactly 15 minutes from now. Let's see if the timer is actually accurate. So what time is it? Uh, 12.38? Yeah, okay. Alright, time for some Metroid. There's no way Bungie wasn't inspired by Metroid for this. Gotta blow up the planet, leave it. John and Samus, they make a good pair. Okay. How convenient, I don't have to open the door. Oh, hello. This is not the time to be shooting me. We're all about to explode. Now work with me and help us get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. I'm out of ammo. Needler, sure. <laughs> Look at the bodies. Cortana to Echo 419. Come in, Echo 419. Full hammer, please. Roger, Cortana. I'm yes! are going critical, Bohammer. Request immediate extraction. Approach the crash site and be ready to pick us up at external access junction 4C as soon as you get my signal. And if you don't, you die with us. So... You better not show us up. Things are getting noisy down there. Everything okay? Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained... That's not the right seat, Chief. Analyzing. Have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. It's happening. The engines will detonate. The explosion temperature of almost one hundred. The pillar of autumn is exploding around him. We need to get out of here ASAP. And Chief is just like, I call shotgun. Chief, you don't have the luxury of calling shotgun. You get in the driver's seat and you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Warthog Run. One of the most iconic moments of Halo. Go, 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 go. All right, we're taking another route. Come on! I'm keeping this run. Oh man, it's like five minutes. This isn't a real timer. Go, go, get off of there. All right, we're continuing. Halo Chief didn't set up his ways properly. At the roundabout, flip your car and continue straight. Stay the course. Oh god, these jumps! Up, <laughs> the iconic run, and I waged the warthog. I don't even know if I have enough time. I hope I do. Punch it, chief! Punch it! How do I honk the horn? I'm getting lasered. 
This is cool though. Drive, drive. Bart hog in the spot. See, I don't reset. I just continue. Whatever happens, happens. There's probably a shortcut, but whatever. Eh, eh, I hate that burns. Oh, that tickle, stop it. We don't wipe. No, no, no. I ain't Drew, I ain't throwing. Okay, that's a little bit of throwing. Yup. Don't worry, it's indestructible. I got insurance on this baby. Cargo space? Well, kind of. Only if you set up grenades under it. This is such a nice leisurely drive. I'll get my license in no time. Master Chief never got his driver's license. He was abducted at age six. You think he had time to study at the DMV? No, no. He's just got a learner's permit. Captain Keys was training him until, you know, the war happened. It's a nice little obstacle course. I'm not doing it right, but hey, let's go. Is there like a boost button I'm not aware of? I got three minutes. How far is it? 245 meters. Yeah, as long as I move faster than one second per meter, we're fine. It's right there. By the way, fun fact, the Pillar of Autumn is not this long. Wait, stop. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Look, I made it. <laughs> the Pillar of Autumn is not actually this... Oh, God. Oh, God. Fohammer. Fohammer, what? Fohammer. I'm helping, I'm helping. No! Forever, you are already dead. How are you still talking? Echo 419. Damn it! Damn it! Echo. Damn it! Damn it! Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in launch base. 1.2 kilometers. I only got now, two minutes. It. You blew it up. You blew it all up. Ah! Am I gonna make it? I hope I'm gonna make it. The music's playing. I have to make it. Marty O'Donnell, don't fail me now. Top speed. I hope I have top speed, Cortana. This isn't top speed. This isn't top speed at all! But it still works! Ow. That was not top speed. Is there a boost button that I don't know about? You saw me make that jump as fast as I can go. Nice timing. Also, I just splatted on the ground. Nice slime. I'm trying to be a big shot. It's not working out. Come on. Come on. Chief. 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 Chief, up ahead, there's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. Come on! Oh, okay. I did it. I didn't know that's what it actually wanted me to do. Get out of my way, Flood. Get out of my way, Preston. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Oh, it's so warm. It's like going to bag traffic, Universal Studios. I'm working on it. Why do I have a needler? I didn't pick this up. Excuse me, pardon me. No hitchhikers. Huh? Chief, 
Go! And he dies for it. We're cutting it close. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. The grand escape. I'm sad we couldn't save at least an elite or two. Maybe they would have been thankful for us. Defected over to the humanity side. You never know. Thanks for the clip. Big shot goes splat. <laughs> Chiefy boy. I don't want to know how much time was left on the, on the countdown. What was it? Single digits? I probably had a minute left. If I were smart, I would have made it more suspenseful. Oof. Hope nobody we know was left on that ring. Shut them down. We'll need them later. At a whole minute. <laughs> Let's pretend that the timer was malfunctioning and it was whatever I was at minus a minute. Fancy a look? And our destruction, sure. As you did this, John. Forerunner technology. Thousands of years of it. Gone in the blink of an eye. Ooh! Crunchy. This Funyun has taken Today its last bite. Make it. Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. What? We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated, and the Flood. We had no choice. Oh, don't pretend you have remorse, anyway, Cortana. That's not programmed in your AI. No. I think we're just getting started. Uh-huh. Cheeky, you can't see his head. Let me just show you what's underneath that helmet, so you all don't have to worry about it. This is canon. I don't know if it's canon, but that's what the model is, actually. <laughs> they didn't model a face, he just takes off his helmet, revealing another helmet. <laughs> Kakashi moment. <laughs> What's under your helmet? Another helmet! <sighs> Somber. Oh, no credits, huh? Nothing like that? Well, okay. I will say though, that's it. Halo 1. I will show you guys the legendary ending because it is basically right where that was. I'm gonna show you both the original Xbox version plus the anniversary remake. Check it out. It was here the whole time. Uh. And also, I want you to focus on the difference between these two. Look, it's Sergeant! We left him behind! Oh. Fighting to the end. This is it, baby. Hold me. Sergeant's a good dude. Oh. Come here, you mother. Just the last moments. He doesn't hold a grudge. He doesn't hold contempt. Just him and the last other being spending their last moments together. Now check a look at this. Did you guys notice something at the end of the the first version of that cutscene? Now, no, hold on, now hold on. Did you notice this? Right there. That. Right there. Just, just one touch. Just a little touch. Just a touch. Now look at this. Right there. <laughs> right there. Just a little touch. Just one. <laughs> After all those years, Sergeant returned the favor. <laughs> what a touching moment. So that's... <laughs>
<laughs> uh, honestly. Honestly amazing. That's... That's... Well, that is one thing I was alluding to when I said, Oh, it's a miracle that Sergeant Johnson was able to escape Halo because he was just on the ground wrestling with an elite. You know, some wrestling. It's, uh... It's not canon. It's just a little bonus for beating Legendary. And, uh, you know, I'm glad modern technology allows me to watch that without having to suffer through Legendary. The Leech's like, bruh. <laughs> Do Halo 2. Well, you know what? Let's, let's meet in the middle. Let's play Halo Infinite tomorrow when it comes out. You know, just skip straight on to that. The story won't exactly follow, but... <laughs> you know. Yeah, no. Good enough to me. Ah. Taking off your helmet. Now my inner helmet feels much more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Alright, okay. Well. Well. I don't know what else to say. But, thank you everybody. This is a game that I'm surprised. I am appalled. I am astounded that it's 20 years old now. But... Looking at it in those old graphics views, looking at its design, a lot of it was amazing for its time, and also a lot of it's kinda, hmm. But that Warthog run, though, a generational staple across Halo games. At least, you know, the ones that are good. What? No. I hope Halo Infinite has a Warthog run. Despite, you know, Halo not really having a boss fight, per se, that is quite a way to end it. Quite a way. Everything left behind, the Covenant, the Flood, all gone. Not really. But it was the start of something awesome. A series that would stick with people throughout the Xbox era. Multiplayer, keeping it going, the lore expanding things beyond anything we'd ever realize. Halo special. Halo special, and it deserves to be back. If only Halo 2 had a Warthog run. We can pretend that Halo 3 and Halo 2 are just like two parts to the same game. Because it basically is. Just finishing that story. And also not really. Halo 3's Warthog run though. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. With the Arbiter on your freaking gun. That's a, that's a spoiler, but I, you know, people. I'm assuming people already know. It's good. It's good. Finishing the fight, right? But, uh, before it gets too late, we gotta end it. So, thank you everybody for joining me on this Halo adventure. I know it's not my usual stream thing. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm usually an RPG streamer, a Nintendo streamer. Thank you. So, you know, I'm putting the variety in variety streams. I'm checking off another uh, square on that ADHD streamer bingo. That's just what they call it. I don't, I don't claim to have ADHD, but... Yeah, no, I do tick off a lot of those boxes. And I feel called out. Yeah, maybe someday this grenade will explode, but hopefully it happens off stream. Everybody, everybody, let's do the art. If you ever have any art for the stream that is inspired by the games I play, or uh, the chickeny nature of the stream, tweet it at me or post it on the Discord and I'll put it up. I'll put it up. Uh oh. Sorry, Ryzone. There's a yeah. There's a there's, there's there's a there's definitely a gift filter, a, a link filter. This is art. I'll keep. I'll, I'll consider this as art. <laughs> it's definitely beautiful. Bam. Hold me. <laughs> ah. I'll see y'all for Halo Infinite tomorrow. But until then, there's the links to all the social stuff in the chat. You know what it is. And uh, if you're going to sleep. Have a good night. Have a good night. Stay clucky until next time. It'll be pretty soon. But I gotta hold my excitement. I gotta get some good rest. Or else I'll be way too tired to grapple around and shoot the Covenant tomorrow. I'll see y'all next time. Have a good night and bye-bye!